two. It's Friday, baby. Oh, man. Big energy. <laughs> we got a fan. We got our very own fan girl here, Dan. Thank you, Dan. Love that energy. Go. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Today is July eighth. Boy, how time goes by. Friday, baby. Friday. No sponsors today, Ela. Epic. Oh. <laughs> Woo! Let's go. Um. <laughs> Excuse me. It's been two weeks since I've had COVID, guys. I'm fine. <laughs> two weeks since my fever broke. I'm fine. <laughs> but I'll know. say this. Um, Your we, mask we, is making me uncomfortable. Okay, I, did, I already <laughs> took it off, Tucker. Give me alone. We do have one sponsor by beautiful anime Gila. <laughs> you look like a One Piece character with your braids. Thank you. <laughs> So how does this work? This is in your hair? Or is part of your hair? It's my hair plus plus. <laughs> so bomb. Really? It's, it looks um, so na such a good match on the color. Yeah, right. Yeah. Dang. It's um it's like uh, extensions that kind of like clip on, so I can just take it off after this. But you styled this. Mm -hmm. I see, I see. Slay. Wow. Not me, but yeah. Wait, who did it? My hair, and Jess. Oh, you had a hair girl do this? Yeah. Okay, wow. Wow, what a vibe. <laughs> okay, interesting. Well, there you go. Woo! Woo! Hila's sponsoring this episode. Teddyfresh.com. Oh. Go to teddyfresh.com to celebrate. Hey, Gabe, one sec there, buddy. <laughs> um, to celebrate our collaboration with one of Hila's favorite artists, Gentle Thrills. That's what I'm wearing. Check this Where shirt out. We all are wearing. Can we check this shirt out? <laughs> is Gabe frozen or is he just super happy? <laughs> oh, he. Whoa! <laughs> <That's a laughs> Gabe, what's up, baby? <laughs> Love that. What's up? How you doing? You want to do this now? Friday, baby. It's Friday, baby. Fuck, baby. Fuck yeah. Fuck, baby. Ow, 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 Twice, oh. but I recover. I heard you got COVID last week, but yeah. I'm glad you're feeling better. Thanks, bro. Cheers to great recovery. Fuck me. Fuck yeah. Thanks, bro. You had COVID twice. Damn. Did you? Did it hit you pretty hard, or were, were, did you get over it pretty good, easy? Like mild systems. It's kind mild, of like I'm mild. having a cold. That's about it. Like yeah. a common cold. Because you're a you're like and, a stallion, dude. A virus like that couldn't <laughs> slow you down, huh? Oh yeah. Yeah. You know what's the simple solution to a COVID? What's that? Oh, dang, I'm going to chug it down. 1942. Yeah. Dude, that's a nice bottle. Recovery from COVID, motherfucker. It only takes like three sips. <laughs> Is that? <laughs> okay. That's my medicine, baby. Okay. I'm going to chug it down. All right. Woo. Oh, COVID 19. No, 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 no. That's not. Wait, 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 wait. We need to be clear. That's not alcohol. Because we're going to get in trouble no, showing that. That's olive oil. That's olive oil. <laughs> that's not alcohol. That's water. Just be, tell us. Just, that's water, right? Because we'll get in trouble for showing that. You weren't drinking. It's your, a secret. Yeah, okay. yeah. Yo, the COVID germs are dying. You might have had it a third time, but they all just got eradicated. <laughs> Oh, yeah, I probably won't even notice. <laughs> yeah, yeah. If you notice and you got positive, <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> fuck, me. fuck, yeah. Fuck, <laughs> fuck, fuck, You okay? You got a fresh cut? What's going on with the hair? You look good. Um, haircut last week. Nice. Let me see. Let me show me off the sides and stuff. That's a fresh fade, bro. <laughs> fresh Woo! fade. Damn. Did you order that fade or did they just kind of hit you with it? <laughs> I tell them and I, they do it. No. Nice. That's my personal opinion. That was your fuck. order. That was your fuck. Ooh. Ooh. Nice, man. What are you doing this weekend? Anything fun? Oh, I'm headed to the strip, strip club, motherfucker. Fuck oh, fuck. shit, boy. You going to get a private lap dance, or are you just going to kind of, you know, sit, it's, and, sit it's in the gallery? It's kind of like a happy ending kind of thing, you know? I'm, you a get... happy lap dance. Oh, shit. 
Do you ever? Uh, <laughs> can I ask you a question? Have you ever jizzed in sure. your pants or anything like that at the strip club? Um, sometimes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> there, <you go>. <laughs> there it Fuck, is. Baby. Fuck, <laughs> baby. Fuck. That's what I'm talking about. And when you jizz in your pants, is that part of like the lap dance, or are you just is it from like? It's it's normal. I'd say it's yeah. normal. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. Just, yeah, yeah. It's Fuck. just um, it's just like you know letting it out. <laughs> right. Is it from her grinding on you, or just general come, excitement? Come, okay, okay. It's kind of like. You. It's kind of like venting. You let you let your get your emotion back, and you yeah, feel yeah, better. Yeah, 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 yeah. I've done that. <laughs> what? What did I do wrong? I'm telling Zach the music's too much. <laughs> oh, that, the music's just right. Bring the music. <laughs> yes, baby, we got a good ass time plan for this weekend, boy. Dan's gonna come. <laughs> Is there a certain girl you like at that spot, or you kind of just find someone that looks pretty? That's nice, nice and understanding and pretty, of course. Understood. Fuck, babe. Fuck yeah. <laughs> Yeah, hell yeah. Baby. I'm gonna come. Oh, I'm oh, gonna oh. come. What's your type? <laughs> what do you look for when you go to your when you're looking for that that special uh, champagne room dance or whatever? Is it Asian or brunette kind of thing? You said Asian or brunette? Yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> hell yeah. And like, are, what are you more interested in, ass or breasts? Come on, the ass, baby. The ass, ow, general, motherfucker, fuck, 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 ow, ow, ow. You like it like tight or like just big? I prefer it tight because it's small and yeah, tight. Goose. <laughs> right, 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 right. I like legs and uh, ass. Wow. Legs oh, are good yeah. too. It's just it's connected to the ass. <laughs> Right, that's Hell true. Yeah. It's all kind of one whole yeah. to the anatomy lesson for everyone at home. Yeah. Never thought about it like it's that. One whole kind of thing you can't separate <laughs> them. Huh? Yeah. Do you ever? Uh, I we've talked. We interviewed a stripper recently, and we got some mixed info from her that maybe, but you're not allowed to touch right during the lap dance, right? Well, it depends. If you go to like Miami, Vegas. Oh. Probably you would. Probably they'll let you. But if you go to these like tight places, LA, LA, like how was Hollywood, like the body shop, there's steps you can't touch. No touching, right? She got no. You have to go to like Miami or Vegas. Then you can, they can feel if things. Oh feel yeah, they'll slower. make you touch. I they'll was, make you they, touch. They forced me to touch the. Oh boot. damn! You know, they put your hands right on them, huh? Yeah. Ow! <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> wow. Wow. That's amazing, man. That's really interesting stuff. Itch. It's beautiful. Itch. Yeah. Itch. Well, that I don't touch. They force me. No, I know. <laughs> I believe you. I I got that, man. That's crazy. Itch. Itch. Wow. And so, well, I hope you have a good time. Okay. Don't get into trouble out there. You know. Don't get kicked out or anything. Okay, Gabe. Uh, <laughs> all right. Yeah. Yeah. Have a good one. And ooh, best recovery. Thanks. I'll, Thank I'm glad you. you're feeling better. Oh. How much does it cost for a private? How much does it cost for a private dance? I'd say two hundred to three hundred. Whoa, damn! That's a lot of cameos, <laughs> boy. What's <laughs> worth it, though? <laughs> yeah, it sounds like it. It sounds like it's a good time. You're gonna put her kids through college. You get a little. You get to cream in your pants a little bit. <laughs> Respectfully, of oh, course. Yeah. yeah. Ooh. All right, you have fun. That sounds great, man. Appreciate you, buddy. Love you, okay? You take care out there. I love you, too. Fuck, babe. Fuck. 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 So aggressive. That's how we used to do it. It was super aggressive. Fuck. Like, play that sound bite there. Fuck. 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 Oh, I cut off. Sorry. Sorry, Gabe. I thought we were, I thought we were done. White Claw Gabe, everybody. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Sounds like he's got a hell of a weekend plan. <laughs> Sounds like it. My man. Anyway, back to... Uh, we were in the middle of an ad read. <laughs> Teddyfresh.com. Uh, Gentle Thrills. Check out this shirt. Here, show this. You got on one side, Good Bears. Go to, go to heaven. heaven. Uh-oh. <laughs> Bad bears go everywhere. Everywhere else, baby. <laughs> yes. 
Show off your shirt, Dula. Show off that whole fit. That fit goes hard. She, she made these. She made those pants. And that fit goes hard as AF, dude. And AV's rocking the camp shirt, looking very good. So, yeah, a few of us are. Oh, really? <laughs> How many camp shirts we got in the house? Zach, what's up, baby? <laughs> Ian, what's Ian? going on? Let's go. Zach's got that button down pretty low. Let me take this a look. This is a DV, that. baby. Wait, how deep are you going? He's Whoa. too far. Wait, what'd you call it? Wait, how many buttons is that? Uh, two. <laughs> two. That's just two? That looks more than two. That's three. So yeah, three. Three, three buttons. Zach, did you call it a DV? Yeah, deep V. That is like a, like a domestic <laughs> violence? No, like a V-neck. Yeah. Oh, I thought like guys that wear shirts like that are usually... What Never the mind. fuck, Dan? Just give some more. It sounded like you said DV. It's, it's a, a DV. It's a deep, deep V. Oh, deep, deep V. Deep. Got it, got deep got it, got it. Dan. Deep. Okay. Yeah. So yeah. Zach, Zach's is unbuttoned at this point. So that's... Whoa. Cool. Do you have baby's chest? Maybe? No. Go get a look at... I don't get... I don't, get I don't, naturally I don't hairless. have... Yeah. What? <laughs> I didn't get the Arab jeans when it came to my chest. You're hairless, bro? <laughs> my ass, too. Wow. <laughs> Lucky. Holy smokes. Your buttholes? Got hair on it, right? I got a tag. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> You're not that lucky. No, no. I gotta <laughs> say, I, I fucking love this shirt so much. Oh, thank you. The material you. is like insane. Like it, it perfect fit on me. Yay. Love it. Love there, it. There it is. Thank you, Zach. <laughs> also, Cam is wearing um, the embroidered tee. Good bears go to heaven. Check it out. Cam looks great in it. <laughs> I believe some of the girls have. <laughs> oh, the lady and Let's Lena. See, show it off. Sam, yeah. you, let's get it. Looking good. Oh, Lena in the um in the tank. Beautiful. <laughs> Everyone looks amazing. Yeah. And Dan, what are you wearing? Hey, what are you? I'm wearing a Teddy Fresh release from about four years That's ago. That's actually true. <laughs> That's yeah. That's a goodie. That's a goodie. Well, anyways, guys, if you want to support the show, uh, Ela, whatever, go to teddyfresh.com. Check out some of these cool items here thank you so much looking good everyone thank you all right so we have so we actually have a lot to do today all of our trees calling in at 1 p.m we got to talk about elon musk we got to talk about um wendy williams we got to talk about Keems Just another keemstar meme a massive keemstar fail oh, yeah. potentially on the scale of the aiden ross fail it's, it's up there. It's up there. It's up there. It's pretty sure. good. Pretty and then there's good. the bonus with him, too, uh, giving his foreign policy analysis, right. which is maybe... This may have rocketed up to my favorite Keemstar video really? of all time. Uh, wow. I, it's a contender for sure. Okay, so, that, so that's all exciting stuff. You guys have been dying for me to do the Sprite challenge, by the way. Please. Everyone which, maybe in the office. What's that? You have to try to chug a whole <laughs> bottle of Sprite without burping. Oh, God. But actually, Lena... Lena, did you do it? Did you achieve it? I did. Well, no, I don't think I finished. But I AB did it. No, no, we attempted it, but she she made it longer than me, but she didn't finish. Yeah, I was gonna <laughs> no, say yeah. I don't. I wouldn't have advised it for you guys if you're already not feeling well. Lena, and... don't run the don't run the fun. Okay. okay. <laughs> <laughs> thanks, thanks for caring, Lena. I'm gonna try it though, but I appreciate that. <laughs> Why did you feel really bad afterwards? My stomach was hurting. Yeah, for oh. a while. I had to keep like burping it out. That sounds yeah. Well, well thank it you for. I don't like that. But, yeah. You don't have to try it, either. I wouldn't um, make you do that. Not doing that. Yeah. Um. So we've got that. We'll do that after um, Oliver. Okay. So we don't forget it. And uh, actually, a lot more really interesting stuff. So is Oliver ready to call in? Uh, he should be calling in any second. Let me. Uh... So why are we talking to Oliver today? <laughs> well, we uh. I'm checking my messages right now. Let's see, Oliver. Uh, Oliver, why? Oh, is they're this? running ten minutes late. They said, "Fucking so. loser." <laughs> Fucking my time ain't nothing to him. Idiot. Why are we talking to Oliver today? He got in a, a fight on stage. TMZ reported on it. Mm -hmm. Um, but most importantly, it was his birthday last week, and mm -hmm. we sent him. A oh God, I forget. Yeah, so so me and Oliver actually have our birthdays are like three days apart, mm -hmm. and so I got a. Pinata of Oliver, which you saw me break apart, right? Mm -hmm. And so Oliver got a pinata of Ethan. <laughs> so he's he want he wanted to call in and get revenge and be like, 
yo, you smashed this pinata of me. I'm going to smash this pinata of you. He's a petty little fucking loser. All right. And he's just always got to have some shit to say. So he's going to call in and do that. Okay. Idiot loser. Uh, but until then, I guess let's see top of the show stuff. Or you want me to do the Sprite Challenge? Uh, maybe that later after. The show. After, yeah. <laughs> You're going to be struggling. <laughs> hey, I want to talk about something. This was huge news on the subreddit. And Hila, I'm curious what's your take on it. Everybody's talking about this moment from the Dan um, collective of last episode. <laughs> Zach apparently bodied Cam out of frame. Now, <laughs> now, now, what I need to see here is the full shot. Because this could be maybe a middle, little misleading. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. It l- did look like he elbowed him out, though, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but this had 2,500 points. <laughs> Lots of controversy. Can you, someone find me the time? Yeah, I'm, I'm almost yeah, there. Yeah, because I, I want to see what the full context here. Mm. Now, before I ask you about this, Zach, let me ask Cameron. Did you notice this happening uh, when it happened? Oh, we got Not it. Not at all. Not at all. Okay. No. I couldn't believe. I mean, besides, besides like the... Uh, the post, I couldn't believe the comments that that was getting. Zach was getting a lot of heat. And yeah, people well, people tend to give Zach a lot of shit. On this yeah, show. I mean, it's kind yeah. of like, if I may speak even, it's kind of uncalled for. And some of the shit on there, yes, there's jokes. But some of the shit on there is really, like, just so uncalled for. Really? Right. And I just want to yeah. say, I'm a person, okay? I, I guess I'm, I'm on the show, but I'm also Zach. I'm a person, too. And people just, I think, fail to realize that it, it, no matter what you type, it, it, it's going to affect you, okay? It, people people were saying that I need to go check, get checked out for autism. What? Uh, yeah. <laughs> it's like, people don't, you know, it's just, it, it, it really totally fucked up my morning. Tremendously. Yeah, I feel that. It feels bad, man. People say mean things about you on the internet. It feels bad. And like, if you want to defend me, don't. Put down my friend, man. Thank you. Cam and I have a... I didn't... I would never, like, go out of my way to just elbow Cam. Cam yeah. and I have a great relationship. We, we have a great friendship. And it, it's like, you know... I, I don't know what else to say on it. No. it like, well, I, will, I will get shit no matter what. Just because I am me. Okay? And I try I, and do the best job I can. But some people don't view it that way. Does this make you feel better? I saw comments like, man, it sucks. He's so good at doing the sounds. The, uh, there was a there was an element because that's kind of a compliment at the same time, <laughs> right? Kind of compliment. It, well, yeah, it's kind of a good compliment too, because yeah, it's like even your biggest haters still acknowledge that right. you're doing right. your job. Yeah, biggest haters can't deny that you're the sound man. Right. Well, to be the change I want to see in the world right now, I'm making a Zach appreciation post on the subreddit right now. Oh wow! I hope <laughs> that surpasses. Uh, I hope that surpasses. I will make change. <laughs> Into my life, I'm gonna feel a little kid's dick in my butthole. I'm gonna make <laughs> it right. Sorry, it's hard not to remix this song. Sorry, Zach. I, I, I no, I you're good. I, lo- I love playing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Jason. I'm playing. Anyways, it, it. I'm gonna make change. <laughs> anyway, sorry, uh, Zach. I get it, man. It hurts. Let's watch the. Let's watch yeah, let's the clip. See and let's see if it's taken out of context here. Here we go. Behold the chamber of death. <laughs> Everyone's kind of sitting together. Today we give honor and praise. And then Cam, well, Cam the finds a stand. Well, <laughs> the wizard. And they get kind of muscled out, didn't they? <laughs> so, Dan, based on the laughter, did it not help? The uh, I feel like the full context didn't particularly help. <laughs> My intention I mean, it's still- was not to elbow him. <laughs> let's watch that one more time. Today. Cam seems pretty comfortable. That this, this is pretty. That's like right. a Trump move. I feel like I've seen Trump do that. Zach, <laughs> I gotta say this with all the peace and the love in my heart and everything. Big boys go in the back for photos. I, I I was, I I'm so upset about all the hate he's getting. But I try to protect him from this. I told him he's the tallest. He needs to be in back. Right. I'm always telling him this. I'm trying to prevent this, Zach. <laughs> so well, they're I was saying trying to get in the shot. They're saying but it's none your of fault. The, none Zach? of the hatred is. What what's your thoughts that you should have okay. gone in the back? I sh- I should have gone in the back then. 
I should have gone in the Yeah, past. but it's just funny. I, I, yeah. Yeah. People, yeah, people, yeah. People yeah. like reading into it. It's, that, a, like, you're it's just had. like a mistake. Yeah. You know? right. I mean, I to be honest, I, I kind of wanted to get away from Ethan. Um, oh, is that what was <laughs> yeah, going on? Yeah. But let's try to hey, analyze it with that intel. Because if I went great. behind AB, I felt like I would have been a So little... you're sacrificing. So you said, Cam, you go be close. <laughs> I wouldn't <laughs> think I'm yeah. sacrificing. I was going to say, so, one of the comments, mean comments I saw <laughs> said that you're the George Costanza of the podcast. Right. I, like how he throws the kids out of the way to the grandma. the fire or whatever. Yeah. Right. It, that right. does kind of have that. Image. That is okay. kind of a You know what? With that new intel, Zach, do you accept the George Costanza analogy at all? Yeah, I'll take it. <laughs> I mean, okay, George okay. is a legend. So. Yeah, I mean, based on Larry. David because you kind of threw cam into the fire i did no i, I could have easily stood up too i was just I, I didn't even think twice about it i could there's plenty of space for me there too it's but all good there's like this this was funny yes i understand that but there's so much unwarranted hate it just does not be that way i get it some people don't like me that's how it goes but don't say i'm like fucking autistic or needed to get bullied as a like i i i was a bully as a kid like you don't know what i've fucking been through oh that you okay. were a bully yeah, yeah. I mean, who's the bully you're you're trying to attack this guy off of a little clip of him and his close friend who he sees every day right so when, when these people sit behind their computer and think there's nothing going into it you know that it it affects people it really does so, so that's all i have to say on it it, it just bugged me that's so all i'm gonna one thing i want to say is first of all this is not there's nothing serious ever happening here guys you should know that but reading the thread zach i think and it, this goes for everybody you know I've, we've been on the receiving end of shit comments and where people are overly judgmental and drawing conclusions and it's never easy, but it takes, I think it takes some discipline and practice before you not take it like totally personally. Right. But I do think that, that maybe as, as harsh as it feels in the comments, people probably aren't hating you as much as it feels like too. I mean, because people do, they just, they talk like you're not reading, you know, that's what I always say. Right. They talk about there. It's like, you know how you talk about someone when they're not there. You, you, you'd be more, you lay it on thicker or harsher than you would if they were listening. Right. And I know there's a lot of love. I know there's a lot of love. We have a great audience and, and I love them. Um, but there's, you know, those bad apples in the bunch that are just, I don't know. They, they don't know me, I guess, as a person. They just think, I'm just going to shit talk this person just because. And um, it's hurtful. But I guess that's the nature of the game of being, you know, on the internet. There it is. It does. Guys. It really sucks. And um, I mean, I don't know if I need to um, say it, but Zach is like the sweetest guy ever. So Thank you, that's the real yeah, irony. I People saying that, that he's a bully. Well, Zach is, is definitely yeah. the nicest person in this room. Like, <laughs> thank you. Thank Zach, you. the type of guy, kind of guy to defend me from bullies, you know? Yeah. And also, I just think people need to keep in mind that, like, you, Zach, you kind of, like, show your personality. You're really bold. You tell stories. Right. You're not afraid of, like, maybe saying something stupid right. or, you know, whatever it's going to be. But right. it makes the show a better show. Mm -hmm. And that's part of just putting yourself out there. Exactly. And so it sucks to think that because of that, it might cause you to go the other way and not not be as involved in the show because people take it too far right so i think for the audience like try to keep that in mind is is just doing like he's actually entertaining you guys and making the show better by putting himself out there so like right. try not to be mean about it but i know it's easy to say and hard to do all right but here it is just one more time guys we could put it in slow motion <laughs> 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 Just to get one full analysis before we move on. Let's see here. Uh, quarter speed, what do you think? Maybe too slow. Here comes the moment of crisis. Okay, here it is, Zach. Now, the incident. Now, Cam seems pretty trenched in there. He seems comfortable. He seems very happy. He seems like that's a good spot for him. And then Cam, and then you did throw the elbow first. I was putting my arm on the table because I was trying to frame up with the TV. Okay, so it wasn't an elbow throw to Cam. Absolutely you were not. Balancing yourself on yeah, the table. I would never elbow Cam, and I apologize, Cam. Sure, Dude, but you have. You have nothing to apologize for. Okay. I mean. I, I, well, <laughs> what's interesting is Cam didn't even noticing it happen. I think that says it all. But what we have here is Cam has been um, submerged in a sea of dance. <laughs> he could have stayed right there. He could have forced closer to the um, to the center of Chernobyl, if I, you were, <laughs> if you would. I think I realized that there was more people on the way too, so I moved down as much as I could. 
<laughs> to make room for the other folks coming in. Interesting. In defense of Zach, and I've seen a comment say this as well, he's a tall boy. He's very tall. And one of the people uh, protecting you were saying that they dated a tall guy and they have no spatial awareness. Mm, and I will say, funny. Zach is very tall, and sometimes he just steps on shit and doesn't realize because he's... Well, now you're treating me like Lenny from Of Mice and Men. <laughs> well, that's not... Well, yeah. Uh, Tell me about the he's rabbit. He's big and... Tell me about the rabbit, Avery. And I'll tell you what, <laughs> buddy. Know, just stop fucking bullying. You, if you, bro, if, that's all I'm saying. If you don't get your shit together, I'm gonna have to take your ass and back, Zach. Tell me, tell me about the fire rabbits. one in the back of the tell, dome. Tell me about the rabbits, Ethan. Tell me about the rabbits. I'll tell you all about the rabbits. But and one more time, guys. So he grabs the chair. <laughs> Can we start it to Cam smiling? Because that's where, it, that's that's part. Of, Look at that beautiful well, Cam smile. But how, how do we end up? What's the final? Uh, it zooms out. There's enough room for everybody. Cam is okay. Cam, Cam really took a dive from me standing well, no, right I behind him. Yeah, <laughs> and it's unfortunate that something as beautiful as the Dan appreciation has turned into this. We love Dan, but I do want to say, guys. I want to say I don't. I think the majority of the thread isn't that serious. I think the person yeah. who posted probably was just goofing around, right? And then obviously some people take it too far and they and they read too far into things. But uh, you know, we love Zach. In thank fact, you. I bet if we took a poll, it'd be 95% we love Zach. Well, thank you. You want to do that? Let's do a poll. You don't have to. <laughs> yeah, let's do the Sounds poll. Sounds like a yes. No, I don't. No, I want to show I the... Like I want the no, poll. let's not. No, do the poll. I'm confident. I have that much confidence. What's the question? Do you love Zach? Do you love Zach, yes or no? Yeah. Most of the people who watch the show don't comment. <laughs> you yeah. want to ruin Zach right. the weekend or not? No, 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 no. This is, this is going to turn out, A.B. What do you mean, ruin? How, what, what are you talking about? This is going to turn out big for Zach. Everyone don't, worry, loves don't worry, buddy. Only like 15% of people. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you, did, if you did, do you love Ethan? I mean, what do you think it would be? Probably not that fu- It probably wouldn't be 100% either. You know what I'm saying? Well, so here we go. 90%. Wait, I gotta, I gotta vote. I gotta vote. You vote no. Tell me about the rabbit. <laughs> Tell me oh, about the rabbit, Ethan. Nine. Oh shit. That pool. Oh shit, it's going down. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I didn't get to vote. I was didn't have the browser open. But yeah, I mean, 88 percent. That's pretty good. I'll take it. Like if you take, if you now, who's someone that's loved on this podcast? Would you say? Mm, Olivia. Olivia. Okay, now, dude, do you love <laughs> Olivia? Let's see what's the. Let's see how it compares. Because I'm just saying, everyone has detractors, right? 88%, Zach, that's pretty good, right? I'll take it, dude. How's I didn't that even feel? ask for it. That's pretty good. Crazy 88. That's very yeah. high, man. Yeah. No, I love it. That's a super majority. Yeah. Yeah. Now, Olivia, obviously, I'm going to vote yes. <laughs> Me too. Um, let's see how I'm much people love now. Olivia here. Um, the numbers and... Uh, Ninety-two percent. They don't even like her that much more than you. Straight up. <laughs> How does it feel, Zach? That's a lot. <laughs> Olivia is queen. We all uh, know that. Zach is queen. Now it's we down to ninety percent, Zach. She only got two percentage points on you. Damn, dude. That's what I'm saying. It's all love, baby. Elections of fraud, man. <laughs> Yeah, man. And then you probably feel terrible about that, Olivia. Only two percent <laughs> more than Zach. Yeah, I'm. I'm truly devastated. I have to. I have to workshop. I have to go back to the drawing board. Yeah, start over. Reinvent, we got to recycle Reinvent this. myself. We gotta re- Reinventing this. Anna. Oh, thank you, Oh Sweet Potatoes, by the way, for 50 gifted subbies. 100 total. I think it, yeah. Damn, son, good. let's go, potato boy. <laughs> go, potato boy. So there you go, Zach. You feel better? I do. It, 88%. It, it, no, no, that, that's beautiful. And that's I, I really appreciate that. You know, 88 is everything. <laughs> there it is. Um, God bless. But yeah, I just. All love. Yeah, all love. Um, Oliver is in the waiting room. All right, let's get this oh, okay. idiot. Now, do now here to do a poll. Do you like Oliver Tree? Now, you want to see someone that's hated, Zach. <laughs> Not do that poll. You didn't even say love. You said like. Do you he love? Even get the yeah, love. well, who loves him? Maybe zero percent. <laughs> do you even like Oliver Tree? <laughs> you know, and obviously, I'm going to vote no because I fucking don't like him. Okay, so here we go. Do you, do you like this fucking idiot, Oliver Tree? No. Okay, now the votes are coming in for a clown show, Oliver Tree. Sixty percent no, Zach. That's hate. This man is hated. He's reviled. Yeah, he fucking sucks, dude. <laughs> Speaking of which, hey oh. idiot. <laughs> we just did a poll and we said, "Do you like Oliver Tree?" Sixty percent said no, dude. Idiot. <laughs> oh, what is he doing? A Ringo star? He looks like he's about to peace and love us. Excuse me? I can hear you. 
You can hear me now after yeah. I wait two fucking hours. Shut up, dude. You were scheduled at one. You're 20 minutes late. My time yeah, how was nothing. To how you was your shower, Oliver? Shut the fuck up. Hey, Oliver, you're like a director, right? You say, oh, I direct my own movies. Like you fancy yourself <laughs> a filmmaker. I know what you're going to say. Yeah. You fancy yourself a filmmaker? Then why, yeah, the, why the fuck are you shooting into a bright window, you moron? <laughs> Would you shut the fuck like, up? Like literally 101, dude. <laughs> No more fucking laugh tracks. Stop with the fucking bells and whistles. <laughs> I don't want to hear any more fucking honking, dude. But on the yes, I did get new glasses. You know why? Because you fucking broke my other ones. My customer. Yeah, now all I have is these shitty ones. Yeah, don't bring those. I still want my fucking money for that shit, dude. You got to pay me back. And the fucking check you sent bounced. Yeah, I'll send you 150 for the Alibaba order. I think it was I was the one that broke them, right? No, I cracked them. Oh, it was you? Orders. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, you cracked them for no reason because you're a crybaby and you're a mama's boy. Hey, um, nice sweat hoodie, though. I'm not going to hate on that. <laughs> well, if you want to know, it was the only thing I had that was clean because things have been rough. Yeah, it sounds I've been like traveling it. with my suitcases, and this was the only clean thing, and I honestly wanted to fucking burn it, but I didn't have time to do it when I was last at the beach on a bonfire. Right. <laughs> with your books and everything, because you're, you're freaking, your book, you burn, what, you burn books? Like a fucking Nazi. All right, dude. That's too fucking far. What, else what are you inviting me on here to fucking make fun of me? <laughs> well, it was your birthday, right? That's why we're calling in. Well, it was technically our birthday. Yeah, our birthdays are three <laughs> days apart, which I don't, I'm not happy about that, to be clear, but it is what it is. <laughs> and you, what, you turned 39 or something? I turned 19. Right. Oh, okay. Yeah, you can't even say that shit with a straight face. I turned 19. It's not funny. I'm just sad because I'm getting older. <laughs> yeah, it is. Yeah, it is sad, kind of, isn't it? Almost out of your teens. Um, How old did you turn? 37, dude. Oh God, I feel bad for you. Yeah. So right. what? You want to just invite me on here to ridicule me in front of your 10 fans watching? All right, so the well, there's a few things I wanted to talk about, and then we could. You have a pinata of me, as I understand it. I don't know anything about that. Mm. What didn't we send you a pinata of me? Well, it was his, uh, you know, his little weirdo minions that collect. Oh, so high pitched Paul know. has it. Oh. Over. Hey, you leave high pitched Paul out of this. No, he has the no, pinata. He has it. No, I don't know anything about a pinata. <sighs> uh, okay. All right, well, uh, all right, well, see you later, bro. That was the whole point. Wait, wait, wait. Nice there may or may on. not be a pinata, okay? All right, but <laughs> before we get to the pinata shit, I want to talk about a couple things. As always, you're always getting some dumbass drama. Just oh, yeah, very funny, says the fucking 52 year old man who's getting in drama every day. Very funny. <laughs> Oliver Tree beats up a fan on stage. TMZ, can you believe they wrote this about your fake ass fight? It's not fucking fake. There's really? nothing fake about that. That was a real fight. <laughs> that guy had no business being on the stage. Let me take a you close look. You can't even use a this. fucking computer, you old ass man. Shut up, dude. Let me take a close <laughs> look at this. Oh, that's so fake. That guy's How is that fake? This fucking guy came on stage. I was trying to let him do his thing, and then look at this is where he crosses the threshold. Oh, he touched your hair. Hat on me, okay? He, he touched that was your five hair. Five hours of prosthetics. Right. Five fucking hours. Really? So at that moment, you unleashed? Yeah. No. <laughs> yes, it did. You know how long prosthetics take? Have you ever done anything like that? Oh, no, you haven't. Have you I... ever done anything with your life? Wait, this was at the NFT convention, bro? Yes. New you New were York. shilling <laughs> NFTs, dude. Let's go. Yeah, I'm doing a really Hey, I'm going to send you an NFT of these nuts, bro. All right, that's Here, enough. Ethan, if you scroll down in the article, there's something interesting in there. Interesting photo. Okay, let so, me just watch the... Yeah, go ahead, Eli. I have a question. Mm -hmm. This is a real article? Yeah. Mm -hmm. TMZ actually wrote this shit. Pretty funny, right? Yeah. At the fucking NFT con. Yo, but let me watch this shit, okay? Nothing funny about it, okay? They threw me out to die out there. They literally... This was covered on 52 media outlets. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> so let's see he touches the hair oliver gets him in the classic headlock brings him down and then what he's what you see here those are yeah those are fake punches oliver those are not fucking Clearly. fake punches <laughs> Clearly, you should have seen him when i was done with him he looked a little similar to last time i fought you and destroyed you mm -hmm. he looks like he punches in a dream 
Okay. Yeah, yeah, Stop totally. right there. Dan, shut the fuck up. <laughs> Dude, that's crazy. How many people showed up there? Like 75? That's nuts. Bro, that crowd is insane. it was literally a private event. They couldn't have any more people there because the fire coordinator was there. Yo, said, that's nuts, bro. They uh, everyone came out for you, man. Look at all that empty space here in the middle. None of those people were my fans. This was for a private event. You could not get into this if you wanted to. For sure. I was only able to get one close friend into the building. Uh huh. For sure. Yeah. Look up. Look at. Look at the railing up top. Look how all those empty spots. <laughs> bro, it's literally a private event where they pay me an absurd amount of cash. Okay. How much they pay you for that? I'm not gonna tell you, but way more. Let's just say this. Did they pay Everything you in you NFTs or, or USD? <laughs> <laughs> Everything you made last year, times 10. Did they pay you in USD or NFT? Bro, I'm not taking crypto currently. But if the market swings back up, I might consider it. Okay, that crypto shit. Yeah, so, uh, oh, this is, oh, this is what you look like? Okay, that is pretty serious. What's going on here? Well, I was dressed as a Gigas Chad uh, with my fellow Giga Chad. And so you went to an NFT convention with Logan Paul, and you're just going to call him here like nothing? No, me and Logan are very close. As you know, he's one of my best friends. He's a real friend. He actually checks in on me, not just when he needs to have, you know, some revamping yeah, of his right. dead podcast, because his is number one in the world, as you know. And um, <laughs> the truth is, me and Logan are very tight. We're like this, and uh, pretty much the opposite of you and me. <laughs> Yeah, he's like, yo, I got this little scam thing I'm doing at this crypto bullshit. I can. Oh, kick leave him alone, dude. Leave Logan out of this. <laughs> Paul. <laughs> high pitch Paul, what do you got in that? Oh, that's a big ass back. Hey, don't talk to high pitch Paul. Thank you, Paul. He's going to close the blinds finally, moron. Thank you. Jesus, where the fuck were you? Oh, I'm a director. Let me set up my camera pointing directly into the bright window. <laughs> high pitch Paul. I know so much here. about film. <laughs> that wasn't me, that was high pitch Paul. Hey, high pitch. Dude. Shut up, Oliver. I want to talk to high pitch. What's Peace up, high love. pitch? Get out of here, dude. Stupid. That's it. All right, well, whatever. Look, dude. It's one thing for me to come on your show and do my promotion. As you know, I have a tour coming up. As you know, I am throwing the greatest entertainment experience ever with my festival, Fire Festival. Mm -hmm. But it's another thing for you to go and just literally try to destroy me and crucify me with media clips that have been blown out of proportion. It's not fucking cool, dude. I said it's fake. I was, I was it's trying. not fake. It's a real article and it's done damage to my brand deals. Hey, let me ask you a question. Um, who's so you have you have someone who's headlining your your event? I am. Oh, who's... I'm the headliner. It's my event, oh. but I'm very excited to announce we have brought on my childhood favorite band, Smash Mouth. Smash Mouth, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> really? They're gonna be Smash Mouth is coming out to the Fire Festival. How'd you pull that, man? I'm sure they're in high demand these days, dude. Yeah, I mean it wasn't easy, man. It's something I've been working on for about two years. Yeah. And the truth is, this was something that's, you know, I had to open up my piggy bank and I sure. pretty much signed up to do this NFT event so I could afford to bring them out. So it was like one show for another show. And um, yeah, they're probably doing an international tour right now. They're super busy. Oh, would you fuck <laughs> off? Don't think I can't pick up on your sarcasm. <laughs> no, You're Smash Mouth so is super new. relevant. Uh, I, I I've been wrong. Yeah, my, they have hits. Hey, okay? remember that? Remember that they did the soundtrack for Shrek? Yeah, I do remember, and it's one of my favorite movies. So yeah, I do remember. <laughs> hey, I got a hey, question. You know what's funny? I have a sh I have a question. You know what's funny? Go ahead. You look a whole lot like Shrek right now. <laughs> <laughs> I like Shrek. I'm down with all that. You look like you look like Prince Falquad, bitch. Oh fuck off, dude! I'm about to walk. <laughs> Wait, I want to ask you questions about your show. Come back. You know, I thought Smash Mouth had fallen off, but now that I see them on your lineup, now I'm a believer. That's not funny. That's not funny. <laughs> it's not funny. I'm a believer. That's one of their songs. If I try. Hey, I'll say your festival has an all-star lineup. Oh. 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 Okay, all-star was one that. of their big songs. That was pretty witty. I'll give you that one, Ethan. Hey, let me ask you. <laughs> Um, so your fire festival is in the middle of the summer, right? It's going to be like walking on the sun out there, isn't it? <laughs> walking on the sun. 
It's another Smash Mouth song. Another Smash Mouth song. Remember that one? I uh, might uh, as well be walking on the sun. I love that song. It was, it was catchy. Yeah, it's a, it's a pop. Yeah. Do they? Do you think that they uh, like the moniker Shrek Rock, or is that demeaning to what they do? If you ask me, I mean, I would take that as a compliment. I mean, sometimes on my shows, people will bring signs that say Shrek Rock, and um, I take it as the highest form of compliment. But when it comes from someone like you who's making a mockery of my life's work, that's when it becomes a problem. It's not necessarily an insult. It's just their work conjures a time when sh when it was about Shrek and rock and roll where people talked real fucking fast and they made Shrek soundtrack music. <laughs> That's what the fuck is up. <laughs> hey, you got a lot of projects lined up. Let me ask you something. How do you keep up with all that? It's like the projects keep on coming and they, they don't, don't stop coming. Yeah. They don't stop coming and they don't stop running. They don't understand for but they live for fun. Your brain gets smart, but your head gets dumb. <laughs> That's all. That's another Smash Mouth lyric. Mm -hmm. you, guys you know what? That, that was, was impressive. You managed to stay in key for that one. <laughs> I'll give you that one. Who else is going to be at the festival? I hope there's going to be so many things to do, so many things to see. <laughs> so what's wrong with taking these nuts in your mouth? <laughs> I'm not amused. Hey, how long is the concert going to be? Because I'll never know if I don't go. Stop! Okay, let me talk. Okay, we've got some really big acts here. We've got... Lil Huddy, the TikTok superstar. Wait for real. Oh. Yeah. We've got a lot of TikTokers, okay? We've got Johnny, who's a TikToker. We've got Swaco, who's a TikToker. And of course, we have myself, who's the biggest TikToker in the last five years. So it's going to be a TikTok real life experience. Can you stop <laughs> fucking honking? No, it sounds great, nah, man. Stop. Hey, can I ask you a question? Is there going to be like a big tent with like red and white stripes with animals inside? Like, you know, a circus? Like a circus? That's very, very funny. Ha, ha, ha. Ethan. You are no, turn the fucking song off. I can't work under these conditions. It's going to be the greatest entertainment experience, and there'll be nothing like a circus. Yeah. Okay. Stop. At what point are you going to be jumping through a hoop on fire? That's actually not a bad idea. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I, I like feel that. that. Well, I want to just ask this, okay? I put together, <laughs> you said it yourself, an all-star cast. Yeah. An incredible show that is going to be the show of the millennium. Mm -hmm. and I just want to know, where will you be August 4th? I'll be there, man. We'll be no! there. No! Is this a fucking promise or is this a fucking promise? It's a, I mean, it's like, it's like a tentative yes. <laughs> that doesn't sound like a promise. I'll take it. Yo, this that guy. sounds like if you oh don't pull these fucking pictures up, dude. <laughs> no, it's interesting because you have jumped through a hoop on fire before. Yeah, I have. Right. And that's very funny of you to make the comparison. But yes, I did jump through a hoop <laughs> in Jakarta. Yeah, so no, but I think we're all gonna be there. So how many tickets do we need, guys? Like 12, 13? Like a two dozen, if you could. Uh, Amazing. Two well, do tickets two are dozen. on sale now, and you can get tickets <laughs> wherever you want. You can get as many as you want. There's still a couple hundred left. Anybody who wants to go, I think there's probably enough for you and all your family and friends. And, and any fans who want to go, this is your last chance to get tickets for this show or the tour. Because, as you know, these shows will be selling out. And I will say, if you go to San Diego to Fire Festival, you will get a chance to meet your favorite super couple, Ethan Klein. No, 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 no. We're not. Oh, wow. You guys are doing a meet and greet? No. We're yes, not. we've no, arranged no. some kind of if meeting. If we greet. go, you're probably not going to see us. So don't buy tickets for that reason. I just want no, to no, that. no. I think <laughs> any fan of Ethan and Hila should know they will be there. There's a chance I won't even be there. They will be there, taking guys. pictures. Dude, Oliver's just going to ghost us again. I don't even know why mm, we're even us. doing this. Don't exactly. write me up. Last time, I sorted you out, and then you're, oh, now you can't make it because Dan can't get in touch with my Dan? Well, guess what? <laughs> you don't go to my Dan. You go to me. <laughs> hey, I'm the guy who's doing the whole thing. I was texting thing. you, bro. I was. You didn't respond. Hey, why did you get, why the fuck did, how did you get banned on R. Kanye after Ian got you that gracious gift? Don't bring this up. Oliver Stop Tree, you. you have been removed as a moderator from R. Kanye. You didn't even have moderator powers. It was just a ceremonial title. What did you do? I may or may not have put some of my views on there. 
<laughs> oh God, radical white supremacist shit. Stop! <laughs> As the guy who literally tried to blow up the NRA building. <laughs> First of all, I didn't try to blow it up. Let's just be clear about well, that. Well, let's be clear here because technically you made threats. I didn't know. No, let's be very clear. Yes, and technical. Yes, I did I not make any threats. There's some footage. We could probably pull up a clip. Zach, uh, you think you could play some kind of drum roll and maybe uh, Ian, somebody else can pull up a clip of this because there's video footage of Ethan threatening to bomb U.S. soil. So what, Not a fucking champ. Yeah, right. <laughs> that didn't happen. No drum roll. What, so what, but why did you get, do you know why he got banned from our Kanye, uh, Ian? I know why I was banned. Okay, tell me. Because I said that I wasn't particularly the biggest fan of the new Yeezy slides. I like the old ones. Oh. And a lot of people were offended by that. And I would not say who, but Ian made no names. And maybe he can mention some of them. You know what's funny? <laughs> Based on what I know of the Kanye subreddit, that kind of jives. <laughs> yeah, that makes sense. something they would do. Yeah. It, it's, the message I got was more, they thought, well, they wanted sort of like a, like a, real, like a real musician to moderate mm. such a mm. big artist. Like, oh, fuck off, Ian. You are so full of shit right now. I'm just a messenger. Maybe Smash Mouth would be interested. Oh, yeah. No, they won't be. Because I spent a lot of time moderating that fucking Reddit channel. And I will say this. It was a waste of fucking time. And I would not let my close friends at Smash Mouth waste another fucking day. And I want to say this. You guys are talking about, oh, yeah, people who run their Reddit. Well, guess what? Who's running your Reddit? Because every time I post on there, my shit gets taken down immediately. It's fucking bullshit. Oh, yeah. I set up an auto mod a while ago. Yeah, we don't just auto filter everything about you. Obviously. And I notice anytime someone posts about me, it gets taken off your stupid fucking Reddit page within the first five minutes. Yeah, it's your name is blacklisted. Yeah, it's off topic. Obviously, off topic, unrelated. Well, hey, you recently threw out the first pitch. pitch what, at dude? The no, you're not supposed to talk about this. I didn't <laughs> fucking throw out a first pitch. I was supposed to, but I couldn't make it. What are you doing? Don't no, you couldn't make it? Clip. Wait, Oliver Don't. went to the Padres game and threw the first pitch. Now, you guys remember when I threw a first pitch, that was a perfect one, right? Actually, what one did you throw exactly? What baseball good. game was that? Hold on, Oliver. Ela did on Mine was right. perfect, too, I thought. Yeah, yeah, and so, and what I was like, dude, if you go to a ball game and throw a shitty first pitch, that's like lifetime humiliation. I did, had like a whole spiel about it. Well, mm -hmm. Oliver Tree wasted no time going out there and humiliating himself. Here he is at the Padres throwing the okay, first pitch. Okay, don't fucking play this. Here it is. At Petco. This is the ceremonial first pitch. Oh, my God, Someone bro. You threw it right at the tree. ground. What the frick? Have you ever thrown a baseball in your life? <laughs> Dude, you don't understand the condition. This is the ceremonial. Why'd you wear those big ass pants, dude? It's like you stepped on the pants and then tripped. Okay, let me at least speak. Are you gonna let me talk? This is the ceremony. Let me watch the whole clip, okay? First pitch. He throws it at the Someone ground, falls. Tree, Oliver Tree, who is a record producer, a singer, you and a crying? comedian. Uh, <laughs> no, I wasn't crying. I got dirt in my eye. Why did he call you a comedian? <laughs> All right, what do you want to say about that tr national travesty? That's okay, the worst thing to happen in like, America since 9-11, bro. I can't do not play the fucking clip. So the fact that you would do that on your shitty little podcast, luckily no one's watching, but I have to say this. You, that is the ultimate betrayal as someone who I once considered a friend very long ago before I first met you. I want to say this. <laughs> I want to say this. Go say it, bro. <laughs> Spit it out, man. We don't, this isn't the Oliver Tree podcast. You I got would, other you shit to talk would about. fucking do something like that, Ethan. You are so self-centered. So self-absorbed. It's always about you. What did you want to say, man? Just I want to say it. something. Can I speak or are you going to just keep talking over me? Well, if you keep going, I want to say something. I want to say something. Just fucking just say I it. I want to say something. Okay. So shut the fuck up. Okay. You want to watch a list, bitch? Who's Dude, never thrown a ball in her life. Can you stop talking? Not even from America. Oh, here's your first stage. Oh, very funny. You're playing in a basement. No, we did a long. We went. She Don't went even compare back. that. You've never been under real pressure, Ethan. All you do Look is that. sit in that. Look at that. Look at that. Damn. Oh. Oh. All you do is critique other people while you do nothing with your life. 
Get me up on that mound, president. dude. Get me on that mound. It's a, it's a You're not strike. getting on that mound. It's only for real celebrities, first of all. The only second, mound I'm getting on you is your mom. You would technically be a threat on U.S. soil. You may do some type of domestic terrorist act. And I can't put my name out on the line for you. Stop with the fuck. <laughs> all right, what did you want to say? What did you want nice to say? Nice speak or not? Yes. Yeah, I'll, it's all free. It's I all want to say something. Okay. okay. What happened here was completely out of my control. I was hanging out in the dugout with some of the players beforehand. I've got a lot of fans in Major League Baseball. This and is what ended up. Pitch. Can you stop playing the fucking clip, dude? I just thought it'd be We're interesting so to pepper it. Can you play We're it while he talks? No, we can't. I want to share just put what it happened. small and then this big, and I'll keep playing it. Go ahead. Okay. So what happened was I was hanging out with some of the players in the dugout beforehand. And I don't know if you've ever been in a dugout. Obviously, you haven't. Uh, but there is a very big snack selection. And so inside the players' rooms, they have this whole kitchen and all these different foods. So I was eating for free. I hadn't eaten all day. And you know I love mini corn dogs. And I was eating like at least, I would say, three dozens of these things. And I don't know if you've had any of these things recently, but they're really greasy. Corn dogs, especially the mini ones, are cooked at a certain temperature, which actually doesn't burn off the oil. So they're covered in oil. So I'm my hands are completely oiled. I'm trying to rub them off on my Jinkos, but the oil just keeps sticking to my pants, but it stays on my hand. So I'm getting I have this essentially lubricated hand. And you're telling me that my- professional <laughs> baseball players eat corn dogs before a game? Of course. What do you think, dude? That's they live off that shit. Yeah, no, that's not that didn't happen. Let me speak. Yeah, we okay? have so I go dogs? out there, I, I go and uh, I practice in the bull ring. And keep in mind, I just spent the last three months rehearsing and training with this guy. He's a professional baseball player. I'm not going to say the name, but it, it rhymes with Mary Schmaltz. Barry Bonds. I don't well, really rhyme. Can you shut the fuck up? Can man? you get on with it? All right, let's just do the pinata. No, this let me dumb. speak. So I go to throw the first pitch. It doesn't make sense. They don't and eat I corn dogs before grip games. The ball, professional athletes. And I throw it. And a gust of wind comes from nowhere, knocking me down as I throw the pitch. And you have to keep in mind, dude, my entire family flew out. My cousins came from New Mexico. My grandma came from Cincinnati. I'm literally... <laughs> Your dad came from jail. Watching it. it was the most embarrassing moment of my fucking life, dude. And literally, everyone I know was watching. And I just literally dropped the ball, literally and figuratively. <clears throat> hey, you know what? Logan Paul should turn this clip into an NFT. Dude, Logan Paul is doing a lot better than you right now, okay? Don't put him down. Yeah, there's a good chance he's being investigated by the fucking FBI, too. That's not him. That's his brother. No, that's him. You ever heard of Dink Donk yet or no? No, I haven't. Dink Donk? Yeah, just keep burying your head in the sand about Dink Donk. Dink Donk, you're my favorite coin. <laughs> want you to think on my face. Oliver take provided all my the days. music yeah, for the other. Yeah. Dink what? Dink Oliver Dink provided the music for the more recent NFT project that Logan did, not the uh, Dink Donk. Yeah, I was not the one that Logan used my song for. Guess what? He actually used my song for something, and he paid me a handsome fee. And you've never done anything. I've still yet to receive one check. That's like saying, that's like saying, oh, Pablo Escobar, he was so generous. Yeah, no shit. He's a fucking like, he's, he's all of his money is like stolen. It's blood money. He's just sitting on billions of dollars of like unmarked fucking bills. Logan Paul Logan is not a billionaire. He's technically a trillionaire. Oh. oh. All right. He let's... has money in oil and other investments. So he's Pokemon doing just cards. fine. So he doesn't need to do rug pulls like your other friends. He literally did. Look up Dink Doink. He literally did a rug pull. Stop. And he, he went. He, go, he goes. Look. I'm just dude, saying, bro. You're I'm fucking pissing me off right now. Don't talk about Logan like that. No, I know you guys you're are fucking homies. man, yeah. and you're nobody. No, I know you guys are homies. You know what I think of you? I think you're a fucking low life scumbag, bottom of the fucking barrel feeder. And the thing I think I would like to do to a fucking Ethan Klein is right here, right now. You fucking sorry, poor <laughs> bastard. Oh no, oh, the Ethan no. Pinata. Wait, can we can we see it up close? Let me see what it looks like. That doesn't look anything like me, dude. Uh, well, ah, it does. It looks a lot. You're right. Like the shape's a little <laughs> off. It's not fat enough. 
It looks like you about 10 years ago. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Is he wearing slides? Let me see the feet. Oh, Don't show the feet. Don't get Oh, free damn. Acid. The tiny feet slides. <laughs> hey, Oliver, look what I got. I got a corn dog to see if I can still throw a ball afterwards. Don't eat that. Yeah, Ethan. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hold it. I'm going to handle it. My hands are getting greasy. Mmm, -hmm. <laughs> corn dog. <laughs> Okay, let's just get this fucking over with. <laughs> <coughs> All right, Oliver's gonna bring the heat to me. Careful, don't break the window, man. That position is kind of sus. Wow. You think mine? This is something I should have done a long time ago, okay? I saw what you did, the motherfucking pinata of me, and that was the most disrespectful thing. The fact that you would do that on your birthday shows what kind of person you are. You are disgusting, and you are so, so, so fucking gross. See that? See that, Ethan? God, he's gonna break that window. <laughs> oh, I should have done a long time ago. I think I was stronger. I think I think I broke mine faster. Oliver's weak. Swings like a girl. Bro, swings like a girl. What did you put in this thing? Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> What's inside? What's inside, bro? What's inside the pinata? <laughs> no! What's, in, you what's inside the piano? It's the cursed you brim! We it. stopped it with the cursed <laughs> brim! I told you you get that shit back, you fucking piece of shit! Look at your hairline! That's not you real. You yourself! <laughs> Look inside the pinata, bro. Your ass is cursed and you accepted it as a gift, bro. I didn't that seals you. the curse. That you're seals it. Nobody. You know that? You're a fucking nobody! <laughs> Look at this fucking sorry, sorry excuse of a fucking human! <laughs> Oh my god. I'm caving your skull in, dude. I hate you. I fucking hate you. All right, this is getting sad. <laughs> You're fucking worthless. Oh god, he's gonna light it. Oh my god. Oh my god. Stupid so, motherfucking wait, person. It's not good to try to burn cursed items. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Don't burn the cursed. Don't, don't burn the brown. item. Lived through a house fire. Through a house fire. Yeah, this is something I should have done a long time ago. Hell not to <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 Oliver, don't. No, I'm serious. Do not burn the Bram. It's cursed, bro. Don't do it. Freaking curse, bro. Oh my God, this is such a bad idea. And he learned you're amazing. And I don't know why you put that when you can't even leave him. I wouldn't stand <laughs> Bro. He's a legend done a long, long, long time ago. <laughs> I can fucking use it. Is he gonna know how to light a match? Is he gonna jump through that fire once he lights it? Yeah. He's gonna jump through it juggling. <laughs> Alright, dude. Oliver, have you Listen. ever lit a match before? Or? Hello? What? <laughs> <laughs> this is awesome, man. This is really cool. Dump the whole fucking thing on here, okay? That's probably too much. It's okay. Let him down. That's probably a lot. He knows what he's doing. You are so fucking stupid. Well, he just fucking with the curse. He's going to burn down his whole neighborhood after that curse. Bro, you. this is so lame. Fucking pussy. <laughs> okay, there okay, it goes. There it goes. No! Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> it comes in. That's you, and that's what your feet are looking like. Hey, Olivia, this one looks pretty good. What brand is that? It's from Trader Joe's. Oh, it's Trader Joe's? It's a turkey. Oh, that's a Trader Joe's? Yeah. Oh, that's the one, oh, that's yeah. the one that's I bought, I think. I did I not know we had dog. corn dogs. This is the one that's Really? Oh. Mm -hmm. but there's one left in the freezer if anyone wants. Oh, I asked Lena to make it from my own. That's fucking fire vessel. And that's even one left there. So if you guys want to go back, but destroy him on the stage. Thank you. Is nobody listening? <laughs> I don't even know that you can microwave those. They taste really good. Yeah, for real. What? Nobody cares? You just just fucking talk over me. I just... <coughs> All right, dude. You're breathing in that well, curse, anyway. dude. 
Good luck with all that, okay, buddy? I want you to pay me back my fucking glasses that you broke. You, you can cut them. Oh, God, it's all about the glasses. Uh, wait, no, you guys. You're good, man. It's nice no, chatting. I'm not done. Uh, I need care. you to get your tickets for Firefest right now, bro. I need yeah. it. I'm down bad. No, stop with the fucking exit. Please, stop. Yeah, I did. Bye, Oliver. All right. Oliver oh, Tree. That's sad. That sucked. Was it? I wasn't paying attention. Which part was sad? Just, I don't know. The ending. The crying. Yeah, the crying. The pathetic crying. Yeah. The begging. The pleading. Yeah. We got that cursed brim back to him, though. Yeah, I guess that's the end, though, because he yeah. didn't earn that shit. I noticed he left some on the ground. Mm. Interesting. Mm. You're not going to finish that, right? Oh my god, that, the corn dog was the best part of that. <laughs> yeah, that was yeah, that was most interesting. I didn't know. So yeah, I, I think I bought those actually. Really? They've been in the fridge for a while. Uh, that is scary. <laughs> well, if you guys want to go to Fire Festival, go to OliveTree.com, right? And you can buy tickets. Don't buy it to meet us, just to be very clear. There's a good chance I won't be there. And if I am there, I'll, you won't probably ever see me. Okay? Thank you. <laughs> Guys, how come the view... I noticed the views aren't getting up that high. Is it the title? Do we need to rejigger the title? I don't know. Leading with Wendy Williams? Just saying. What? <laughs> Oh, Ace Fest? Well, it hasn't happened yet, guys. It's this weekend. Talk about Doja Cat being a weirdo. That's in the talk. <laughs> Is that a big story, though? Is that like a headline story? It's juicy to me. I followed it. I thought it was pretty interesting. Yeah. Did you Let's see talk that? about it. I briefly saw people talk about it. It is very interesting, to be totally honest. And I like Doja Cat. I think she's funny and cool. And it... Quirky. Mm -hmm. We love that for her. And Noah Schnapp is so fun online, too. But what do you think? Do you think she just kind of... I think releasing DMs is a weird thing to do without saying anything. I figured... Even though she was posting on Twitter publicly about liking the actor. I fig I don't think the DMs made her look bad at they all. They didn't at all. And so I thought they were just in on this goof they were doing together. I thought so, too. Uh, just a note on the live numbers. Yeah. I forgot. I saw this right before the show. Like, the entire internet in Canada, and I think even some of the northern United States, is out. What? There's, there's like, yeah. a massive outage. No, like, really. Like, what? The whole country of Canada Not is down. So How does that happen? Missing, they're know. protesting for Jordan Peterson. That was yeah, the Yeah, they're upset <laughs> that he got banned off Twitter. Wait, actually, how does that happen? How does a whole country lose internet? Yeah, I'm not sure. Let's see. Canada internet outage. Let me see what the answer. status on that is. We'll see who cancels who. Government operation. Right. I did not put my I guess one of the biggest <laughs> one of the biggest ISPs, Rogers Communications, is out. Mm -hmm. So, you know, it'd be like uh, Yeah, according to CBS News, internet traffic has dropped by 75% in Canada. Dude, where are my Canadians at? So, we're missing our No. It's our Canadian. You think that has to do with it? And you said some I mean, we Americans? Have si we have a sizable. Oh, it could be There's wrong another about... corn dog? Pass that shit, bro. What are you doing? <laughs> he was <laughs> waiting for Elo to leave. Yeah, I can eat this before she gets back. Slam that dog. Yeah, we got baby. another dog. Slam that CD. Yeah, so oh, mama. To leave. Mm. Mm. Not bad. Yeah, they, one of our Canadian fans just said, we have a duopoly between two telecom companies and one is down. You can't use debit across the country either. Wow. Whoa. And wait, you said some of America doesn't have internet? As I, I saw that on Twitter earlier from what I'm reading on this article. That sounds like that was probably not correct because it's just this specific ISP, Rogers it's not. Communications. We have some Canadians in the chat, but yeah. Seems like majority's out. Boing. Why? 
<clears throat> you may not. No, chat. I still have duty, a corn dog duty, for myself. Duty, duty. <laughs> they thought you took that from me. Duty. I have Get my two own. corn dogs. Duty. All right, so duty. If you guys want to do the sprite challenge? I promised I'd do it. You promised. Wait, we were, I interrupted the the dojo. Well, let's do the sprite. Okay. And then we'll get into the dojo thing. Okay. But okay. do you think dojo was like wrong or Snow was wrong? I thought it was weird. I didn't necessarily think anyone was like explicitly wrong. I think it sucks because they're both cool. But no, I wasn't like. Did Noah respond to her ever? He deleted the. T well, she allegedly had a conversation with him before her live, and he took the TikTok down before she, like, called him a snake and all that stuff. I, if I had to, thank you. Um, I think Doge is the one that escalated it too far. Well, he's also seventeen. Right, that's a big factor. Yeah. But even if he wasn't. Like, the post didn't make her look bad at all. At all. And so, I feel like she sure. could have just let it go. Yeah. But we'll talk about that. All right, so this is the Sprite Challenge. This is a TikTok thing, right? Yeah. I get one too. Oh, everyone's going to try it. So. So you just got to chug this shit and not... Not burp. Not burp? Yeah. Easy. So yeah, Easiest this thing I've this, ever done in my life. This is a TikTok thing. I've seen a lot of people do it, and I've seen a lot of people not be able to do it. So it's doable. I can't chug a whole bottle like that. Yeah, I don't know how good I am at chugging. That seems like the hard part. <laughs> For sure, yeah. I can't even chug a bottle of water. Yeah. Like regular water. You can't crush a bottle. Not I've that been fast. Chugging the water. <laughs> All right, so so I just. There's no time limit. I just get it down without burping. That's yeah, you idea. don't even have to chug it. I just you have to get it all down without burping. What is Dan, I, I want to say before we start, Dan was very cocky about this. Oh, I was just saying. Oh, you were. Okay. You want to go right. first? I was. You're so confident. <laughs> or maybe we'll just do it at the same time. I mean, you guys started already. Oh, we're starting. It's cold. Go for it. It's hard to drink because it's cold. Damn, look at Dan go. That's good. A diet Sprite it hits different. It's I've the best kind of diet. It's not sprite. bad, right? I could already burp. <sighs> the Sprite here is my favorite sodi pop. They hurt. They're like <laughs> sharp. You know yeah. what I mean? I don't think Very I'm bubbly. Do it. <sighs> I can't do it. <clears throat> Oh my god. It feels so wrong not to burp when you have to. <laughs> there it is. Fuck it, I'm not even trying this shit. <laughs> my body's been through enough. It's so... <clears throat> Whoa. <laughs> what Olivia. Who was that? That? <laughs> that was not me. That was me. <laughs> right into the mic. <laughs> Sorry guys. Sorry people at home. <laughs> Dan, well Dan's our real competitor. Dan's going for it. Yeah, he's going for it. Do you feel like you need to burp, Dan? A little bit. Just a little bit. Wow. Those bubbles I'm are aggressive. Impressed, yeah, it's very... Uh, Sprite is very Don't. carbonated. Wait, Dan is just... There's oh. a little bit left. Oh, you I'm trying to get done. the carbonation out? Is that what's happening there? It's just showing off. Wow. Oh! Easy. Wow. Now, why were you so confident that you could do that? Because I don't, I'm not a big burper. Like, I just don't burp very often. I'm definitely going to burp in a minute, though. It, <laughs> it's okay if you do it after <gasps> the fact. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Do you not even have the, like, yeah. the inclination to do it yet? No, I definitely need to burp. <laughs> <laughs> but generally, uh, I, I wow. don't burp very much from carbonation. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> Lena, I saw you, you did it even different. better than I did. I couldn't, I couldn't even. I yeah, I think it. I got like more than halfway through. Yeah, very impressive. But Dan, on the other hand, is the Sprite King. Sprite King, baby. Oh, Ian, have you? Are you go doing it still, Ian? Yeah, I haven't burped yet. Let's get Ian on cam. <laughs> Ian's going for it. Oh. oh. Ah. Ian is going for the full clear there. <clears throat> Two absolute legends in one office. Wow. Ian and Dan. Damn. 
Look at this. Two absolute beasts. Wait, Cam said that he also finished. Oh, Cam. Yeah. Shoot, shoot, cut the camera. Dude, I, I finished before Dan. Whoa. 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 What a king. Nobody heard wow. me. Wow. Turns out it's not that hard of a challenge yeah. for half <laughs> of people, it seems like. That was why I was confused when people were saying, like, the the sprite challenge. I thought it was going to be like a two liter. Oh, it's two oh liter? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. God. Two liter. No one can do that. Ian, you okay over there, buddy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's really weird. Noise. I still haven't burped. I don't know. I need to. But that's I, what I'm saying. Like, I, I don't have yeah, the ability. I can't burp on command like a lot of people no. do. Oh. So. Same. Interesting. Oh. I just had like a oh. tiny little one. I think like for one some people it's hard. For it's easy. For me, I couldn't, even, I couldn't even get halfway. Well, I have bad GERD as well. So maybe. I don't fuck with the GERD. GERD gang. It's a bad idea to fuck with that GERD. Yeah. Right. You have GERD? Mm -hmm. You take anything for it? Uh, I always have like Zantac and. Uh, Abysmal around the house or Tums. You take uh, Prilosec? Yeah, I've done Prilosec too. Yeah. Gur -gur. Did you do it for like a two week thing and stop? No. Because you're supposed to take it every day. Yeah, I know. I've never, I haven't done that. Because <laughs> if it doesn't help if you just take it. I know. It doesn't do anything. Cheers. But but it's it's great. I'll try it. Yeah. No, it works. It's great. Wait, some people in the chat are saying you're supposed to, uh, you were supposed to chug it. Oh, well, that, well, that. Yeah. That's really hard to yeah, chug it at I, one go. I mean, I almost did. That. I mean, everyone I've seen I do it. Like they seventy five yeah, percent of it, and then I he was going rest. straight. He just took, he stopped in between. But that's what everyone was doing on TikTok too. <coughs> yeah, I might need to, <coughs> somebody to burp me like a baby later. I can do that, Dan. You can do that for me. Yeah, you want me to a little like pat on the back? Call you. <laughs> yeah. Well, just <laughs> just the just the. Oh my God. Excuse me. There's an addition to that challenge too with a banana or something. Do you guys know about oh, that? Oh yeah, that's a different oh, one. Yeah. That's my nightmare. That makes you throw. That makes you wait. You eat a wait, banana, what? then chug a. Yeah, sodium? for some reason, like you foam up super much. When yeah, because the acidity. Oh. Oh, oh, when I, oh, that's fucked up. Yeah. When I was in middle school, we went on a trip to D.C. So it was a bunch of eighth graders like in a plane, and you know how there are TVs on the back of chairs. Mm. There was this show where they did the Sprite Banana Challenge. Tosh.0. Yep. And everyone was watching it around me. And it was like everybody was watching Vomit. And like oh, I couldn't so escape it. It yeah. was right. my absolute nightmare. <laughs> Olivia has a vomit, vomophobia. Yeah. It was so disgusting. <laughs> and when I heard we were doing the Sprite Challenge, I almost didn't come in. <laughs> yeah, but you, you've overcome that phobia a bit, haven't you, on the show? I have. I actually held a friend's hair this semester. Wow. wow. So we're growing. You're we're welcome. Growing. You're welcome. <laughs> um, when can we get Ethan to eat Bofa? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Both of these <laughs> fucking. No! Oh! Got him. Ooh, fucking. Um. No, but can you guys, can we do a poll? Like, tell me which is the best topic to lead with, okay? And let's do a poll it here. It seems Dad. like the Dojo Cat was. Showing a lot of interest. In okay, this okay, okay. Let's see. But yeah, we're talking from just like a <clears throat> trying to get people to click the video. So let's do a oh, live. Doja one. for sure. Doja That's Cat. Right. Yeah. Wendy. Elon. Keemstar. I mean, who gives a fuck about yeah, Keemstar? Fuck Keemstar. Yeah, Dojo for sure. <clears throat> Is that right? Okay, good. We I hate mean, Keemstar. I didn't know. I didn't know it was a big deal because that's funny because I was following it. You know. Oh, what, Peter, or so? both. Is, <laughs> the drama isn't that juicy, but just writing Dojo drama in the title might be good because people don't know what it is. Also, such an unlikely duo. I know what. To be beefing, I'm obsessed with it. Also, I'm in, I'm curious about Dojo's obsession with that actor too. <laughs> Me too. I get it. I know a lot of people like, like the character, like, like, but I, I get it. I get it, but like she's like so thirsty for him. It's that serious. I okay. definitely think he was cute. You know what I'm talking I, about? I, well, why don't we just talk about it? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Let's do the poll the first. Well, hold on. Let's we do the keep poll. like almost talking about it. <laughs> yeah, you're right. But let's do the poll first. Poll about what? What the fuck? You weren't doing a poll this whole time? About title. I thought you just said let's put Doja. We already in the title. decided. I, I changed the title. Doja Cat Drama. <laughs> Sorry. Wait, so you got did? Start? <laughs> what the fuck? We two what the fuck, bro? It's definitely the best. No doubt. Funger. Funger. Wait, should it be Doja Cat versus Noah Schnapps? Or like versus Noah Schnapp from Stranger Things? Versus Stranger Things cast. Doja Cat versus Stranger Things? That seems too abstract. Noah Schnapp. Stranger from Things Stranger cast. Things. Doja Cat versus Noah Schnapp. 
Does everyone it's know who much. Noah is, though? That's why yeah. I'm saying Stranger Things no, cast, yeah. I think, would be What? Better. Noah Schnapps is famous. He has, like, a gajillion followers. Yeah, yeah I know. Okay. Shout out to, uh, what's his name, Mike? He's a fan of the show, I believe. Finn Wolfhard? Yeah. Oh, yeah, friend of the mm-hmm. show, definitely. People want me to talk about Bobby Lee. I mean, what do you want me to say about it? What do I know? That the, he broke up with Kalila? Sad. You know? Maybe the mole? The mole thing. Yeah, do you have the clip in the document? Uh, I'll get it right now. <laughs> I told Bob... Well, okay, now we're getting ahead of ourselves. Yeah, let's talk about the mole thing after this. Bobby's mad at me. Because I told him he had a mole that looked cancerous. I said, bro, you guys should get that checked out. And he, met, he went, and it's fine. And now he's mad at me. <laughs> I sent him Discord. Kind of annoying. I care. I care <laughs> about him. Dude, it was fucked okay. up, and I even showed it to AB. Yes. Okay. And AB's like, yo, I didn't want to. He goes, after Bobby leaves, AB comes up to me. He goes, yo, I didn't want to freak Bobby up. That shit looks cancerous. <laughs> he well, said that. When okay. Bobby said that you asked your <laughs> doctor friend, I'm like, I'm, I hope he wasn't referring to me. Yeah, he was. He, he wasn't. He didn't, he didn't give the right context during that story. I said he was in pre med school or some shit, and he. Yeah, they don't teach a shit about medicine, but I did listen. But um, I don't care about that. So anyway, let's go with Doja Cat versus Stranger Things Kid. Is yeah. that disrespectful? Let's, let's give him a name. <laughs> yeah, just Doja Cat drama, I think. <laughs> Doja Cat has entered the upside down world. Ooh, interesting. It's, that's it's Doja cute, Cat possessed very, by Vecna. Yeah, it's cute, but not very... Well, it's tongue and shit. Clickbait. Yeah. I'm down with Doja versus Noah. He said, someone said he's annoyed because Ethan aired Bobby's health to some random doctor friend. No, he's not. It was AB. I said it was <laughs> AB. That's not why he's annoyed. He's not really annoyed. He's I'm, joking around. Yeah. I'm a pinnacle of the medical community. Yeah. But I would never share that publicly with anyone. It would. Yeah. Don't fuck yourself, you stupid piece of <laughs> shit, AB. <laughs> oh, my father. <laughs> Yo, um, he's not really mad, you guys. Just stop with the nonsense. With they the started off by saying Ethan cares so much. Yeah, which is true, by the way. I care and I kill. Uh-huh. Oh, Noah, Doja Cat snaps on Noah Schnapp. And I kill. <laughs> Doja shit. Somebody, somebody suggested that in the uh, yeah. Doja snapped. Doja, Doja Cat snaps at Noah Schnapp. That's, just, that's pretty wild. It's pretty good. When you just call it Eddie that's Munson. Good. Fuck. You like that? Doja Cat <laughs> snapped? I, like, I just like Doja Cat snapped. <laughs> Is that too much? Is that like too tongue in cheek? Sister snap. It's pretty say. funny though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but actually, AB, you did violate HIPAA law, so I'm going to have to report you to the board. Yeah. Okay. We're going to have to take away your stethoscope. Sister snatched. We're going to need that stethoscope back, buddy. Damn. Wow, sister snapped. It sounds like he's saying snap. Sister yeah. snapped. So you want to do Doja Cat sister snap on sister Noah snap? Sister, sister snapped. I got, I got one. I got shout, one. Shout out Poopy Pants 666 for that suggestion, by the way. Shout out Poopy Pants, my boy. You guys ready? This is it. Bobby Lee is dying. That's the, the title. Oh my God, AB. That's fucked up, dude. That's not even funny. Bro. It's a joke. Jesus Christ, dude. It's not even hell, man. You know we're get buried for that. Really? Bro, it's like you line. elbowed. Someone. I wasn't serious. Wait, 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 wait. No, 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 no. You need to leave. <laughs> <laughs> you guys remember when we put me in a thumbnail in the hospital? Y'all remember that? <laughs> yeah. And then we photoshopped my face out and put Ethan's face? Yeah, but that's All you. All funny jokes then. That's you. You know, Zach, why don't you go fucking bully? <laughs> it was my Ooh. face. Whoa, AB, that wasn't AB took it too either. far. Okay, so let's Doja Cat Sister Snaps on Noah Snaps. <laughs> Can we call it Sister Snap? No, that's insane. <laughs> oh, Sister Snap. That's an insane oh, title. Sister. Sister Snaps on Noah Snaps. Sister. That makes no sense. Nobody will make any sense of that title by anyone who's watching the show right now. Dan, don't you update that fucking title. <laughs> We're trying to make it more clickable and we just make it yeah, worse. Way worse. Way worse. <laughs> Doja sister snaps on no snap. No sister, but all the rest is fine. Doja cat snapped. Oh, oh no you way. fucking did update it. it well, could... I did that a, a few minutes ago, but I Doja cat snapped. 
It could be Doja Cat beefing with Noah Schnapp in the Stranger Things cast. Because That's good. The other actor is also included in the story. Oh, for they are. Oh, well, you're yeah, right. The guy Eddie. She's, yeah. Okay. Oh, so, yeah. So, 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 so <laughs> dictate that. Dan, write this down. Uh, Doja <laughs> Cat beefs with Stranger Things cast. Wow, that sounds. <laughs> it is. Like, like I said 20 minutes ago. Wait, hold, hey, on, hold, on, hey. hold on, hold on, hold on. Is that what you said the last time? Uh, yeah. yeah. Wait, Doja Cat beefing over some Stranger Things? No, no, no. Wait, write it down. Write it down. Write it down. <laughs> I did. Doja Cat beefs with Someone Stranger Things. Check the, <laughs> check the oh, No, right. did you say beefs with Noah Schnapps? Yeah, Noah Stranger Schnapp things. and Stranger Things. Yeah. Cat. No, jo Doja Cat beefs with Noah Schnapp and Stranger <laughs> Things cast, Dan. <laughs> Wait, I would so like long. that. Doja Cat beefs with Wait. Noah Schnapp Noah and Stranger Schnapp. Things cast. Schnapp. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Wait, Doja Things Cat cast? snapped at the Stranger Things cast. Mm -mm, too deep. Nest. <laughs> too deep. Beans on toast. Beans on, what's featuring beans on toast? <laughs> right, so I, I'm cutting everybody else out of this title. Yeah, there's no space for those. Yeah, it's way too long anymore. <laughs> Nobody cares about them. Doja Cat beefs with Noah Schnapps and Stranger Things cast. Got it. Do we like this? Just let's move on from the yeah. title. Jeez. <laughs> we need a new thumbnail, Cam. Uploading this oh, Discord. There it is. Oh, you already did a thumbnail. Oh shit, let's <laughs> fucking go right now, dude. I like that. Let's go. get it good. Let's get restarted. Let's get the power restarted. Get I gotta get as close to saying the R word as possible without. Let's get it re. When I, when I was chopping it up, trying to get it to say let's get restarted, it just sounded like let's get the R word. Mm -hmm. There hey, was maybe, no way of editing hey, that. Maybe you could get the Eddie guy in there too. Uh, okay. Why not? Or right, that looks pretty good though. I don't want to push it. All right, use that one, Dan, for now. Let's do this fucking show. Okay. <laughs> Go. Get. Hmm. All right, let's talk about Doja Cat. So Doja Cat. Yes. Snapped on Noah mm -hmm. Snaps. Let me find a doc. Yeah. Okay, so let me start from the top. So Noah, Noah Cat. <laughs> Whoa. That's the ship name. Um, so it started with Noah Doja Cat tweeting out, Joseph Quinn fine as shit. So she'd been thirsting for this man hard. And if you guys don't know who Joseph Quinn is, he's the guy who played Eddie. The guy, the rock and roll guy. Uh, from the new season. I'll show you a picture. You guys know it if you've seen it. Yeah, he played this guy. He fucks. Okay, Zach. <laughs> <laughs> so this, so does he fuck harder or less hard than uh, Gos Gos Gosling? Ah, uh, dude. Who fucks harder? You know, I, I can't let my boy, you know, that PGD down, you know, perfect Gosling. But, um... Nah, Goss still fucks hard. Goss fucks. Eddie, Eddie, Eddie fucks hard, but not as hard as. Goss. What about Rooster from Top? Oh, Top? Rooster fucks, dude. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> Rooster? Miles that? Teller, dude. That guy fucks, dude. Wait, who's Rooster? Who? From the new Top Gun movie, Miles oh, Teller. Oh, no, we actor. haven't watched. Right, Jesus Christ. He's the thirst of the month. Guy fucks, dude. So this is him. Now, I mean, again, he's like. I feel like he's like fairly normal looking. Am I wrong about that? I mean, he's handsome. He takes care of himself. He's an actor. That's cool. But he doesn't strike me as, like, someone to fucking throw it all away for, like Doja Cat did. Mm -hmm. And correct me if I'm wrong, you know, God bless this man. Some I usually can tell pretty well if men are attractive or not. I feel like I have a good uh, uh, scale for that. So I could, but sometimes I'm wrong. And sometimes there's guys that women are like, I'm fucking crazy. Ah! And I'm like, whoa, him really? So sometimes I don't get it. Is this man very attractive? I think so. And like, <laughs> would you throw it all away for him? Bad pull. He's also like so talented. His acting was ridiculous. You know. Has he been in other things? No, but did you not think he was? No, he was good. He was though. great. The Metallica. 
No, he was good. I loved. That was awesome. He, uh, I think he looked um, better in that like '80s look with the hairdo and stuff. Yeah, I kind of uh, think that was more special. Yeah, you think and, he looked uh, more attractive like this? Yeah, when he looked more like Zach. He just has kind of a baby face. He's also like smiling there, and in the others, he looks. You think better without the smile? No, I love the smile. Oh, we love the smile. I mean, the, the but... but Doja Cat's throwing it all away for this man. <laughs> she's gone little... public. She is coming. She's risking it all for this man. It's a little nuts. <laughs> Interesting, though, eh? How tall is he? <laughs> Just get a vibe check on that, can we? Oh, God. <laughs> Every time. You're obsessed. It says 5'10. 5'10? Mm-hmm. Just saying. Just saying. Audiences <laughs> split almost 50-50 on uh, if he thought or not. So, But maybe yeah. she likes him because he's like right on the cusp. Sometimes you find someone who's like just your type and they're not conventionally attractive. And so they that makes them almost like uh, more attractive. I think that's what was going on with him. <laughs> Especially with his look on the show. Mm-hmm. It's got that like unconventional. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. If he hits special. the right note for you, then you're all in. But actually, seeing him like on his regular look, he looks more like a regular. Here he is, is kind of the bad boy thing. Here, what does that do anything for you? Got that Hellraiser shirt. I don't know what the fuck that. Is. <laughs> <laughs> that shirt's kind of crazy. Personally, I He's giving I, Cenobite. I think he he looks better as Eddie, to be completely honest with you. But I think that's I think what he looks better as 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 a uh, Mr. Quinn. I think people are falling in love with the character, right? Which is I why. think so too. Yeah, you know what's going on? Yeah, yeah. great character and yeah. the portrayal. I wouldn't fuck the character either, just to be clear. <laughs> and I'd fuck and listen. <laughs> but does he fuck? Like, does he fuck? Not in the film. He fucked. He didn't ever got any in the movie. Or no, no, no. Show. You're missing the point. He fucks though. Like, <laughs> he's cool. He fucks, dude. <laughs> is that what being cool is? <clears throat> cornered, bro. I just cornered you. No, it's not the actual sexual act I'm trying to describe. Yeah. It's just like he's cool. He fucks. You know. Yeah, he's dope. Look yeah. at him. He's got tats and shit. Okay, but anyway. Uh, so so Doja Cat has decided to throw it all away for this man. So she's tweeting out, Joseph Quinn, fine as shit. This was on May 30th. Okay. Now, fast forward. Um, Noah Schnapperinos <laughs> posted a TikTok that went very viral. Your, your mom. Now, now, I know he erased it, but last mm. I checked, it had like... 5 million likes, which got, I don't know, that must have been like 20, 30 million views. I don't know. Oh, sister snapped. <laughs> and what his, he posted, this is just a repost. Uh, so wait, let me, so this is what he posted. So she messages Noah, who is 17. He's a kid. I mean, we know them all to be kids, right? Noah, can you tell Joseph to hit me up? So you're asking a 17-year-old to play matchmaker, which is a little whatever. Mm -hmm. But also, Actually, you know what? It's it's kind of whatever, but when it gets really weird is when she starts calling him out. It's like, you know, you put him in that position, and then you mm -hmm. skewered him. Okay, yeah, oh. sure. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But also, the can you tell him to hit me up? It's like you already tweeted about him very publicly. I mean, if he wanted to, he would. It's not a secret. At this point, so... Exactly, yeah. exactly. It's a little weird. <laughs> but that's what I'm saying. She's thirsting for this man so hard. Yeah. It's it's crazy. It's nuts, man. Just to be clear, because some people are confused, Joseph <laughs> Quinn is not a minor. He's 29. <laughs> Noah yeah. is 17. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I don't know how so many people are confused in the chat about that. Noah no. plays Will Fires on Stranger Things. Mm -hmm. I just I showed a picture know. of him. They're two different people. Yeah. Audio. I don't know if someone just said audio, audio, audio. Oh, that's fucking with you guys bad, right? Oh. Oh. Thank you for drawing audio. attention to it. <laughs> Blame Jimmy. Audio. <laughs> it. Yeah, apparently Jimmy Lee has ruined this podcast for Dan and Zach because now everyone spams the chat audio, audio, audio. 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 And Dude, it's... They don't know if it's an actual audio issue or not. He's, or, he's, like, even, like, texting me and Cam 
like audio audio and then he's like sending clips of him saying audio and then memes of him saying audio <laughs> just never ending man and poor zach plays like music it. on instagram and people will be commenting audio audio <laughs> oh, <laughs> fucked up dude <laughs> jamie said i'm sorry but eddie looks like mark zuckerberg so there you go daddy zuckerberg what nah i don't see that anyway so she mess <laughs> she messaged noah she says, can you tell Joseph to hit me up? Wait, no, does he have a girlfriend? And then Noah said, laugh my ass off, slide into his DMs. She says, I don't know his IG or Twitter. He doesn't have anywhere to slide in. And then he's like, here's her Instagram right here, ma'am. <laughs> he's kind of over her shit, you could tell. He's like, yeah. I don't want to get in the middle of this. Also, like, here's his Instagram. It's easy to find. Yeah. Because she wanted that. She wanted that direct one. She wanted like his phone night. number. Yes. Yeah. 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 Also, she um, she very quickly like <coughs> said, "Wait, does he have a girlfriend?" She, like she almost realized she's being so ridiculous. Well, that's uh, good. She's being right respectful. Away. I thought it was nice. Yeah. yeah. She didn't want to. She didn't want to. Because it. Yeah, it was like placed in the real Thank world. You. For yeah. The first time. Thank not you, just like, not just he's hot on Twitter. Instagram and TikTok the best way to meet girls. But, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. The whole thing's kind of weird. My take is justice for Will. He's just been through enough. <laughs> Speaking of the character, leave his shit on us for four seasons. He sure has been. Real life. His friends are ignoring him. How old is Doja Cat? Let's see. I think people... I think 29? Saying, yeah, I was going to guess 29. It's the no, same age younger than that. But, you know, 26, I don't I don't think... Do I don't think Doja Cat's is used to being re rejected, right? Like if she if she sure expressed not. interest yeah. in a guy, then it's like GG. I'm sure, but that's <laughs> kind of like part of what's uh, a little weird here. She's just so thirsty for it. Cause uh, you you only showed one tweet, but she was <laughs> tweeting about him a few times, right? Oh, is that right? About the yeah, she guy? was like in replies and stuff too. Hmm. So it was like a difference between like just making a joke, like oh he's so hot, he's so hot, and then hitting up. Yeah, but then it's real. Maybe that's why she was thought this was she was offended because it she's like oh I realize oh, yeah. now that I look like a creep. Yeah, maybe because it was like it was fun when it was. Yeah, it was mm -hmm. fun. Mm -hmm. It was irreverent. But now we're taking action about yeah. it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Well, so anyway, Noah posted this on TikTok. It got like a gajillion views. But I don't think anyone was really mad at... Um... So what did he post? Just a picture or what's the, what was his TikTok? That, that was it. That was it. Oh, someone said... Here's another one. Doja Cat, look how fine Joseph Quinn is. She says it's fucking criminal. So maybe also she's trying to get with him, right? And maybe she's just embarrassed by this. It's just embarrassing, maybe. But nobody was really mad at her, right? Nobody really cared. No. When she, she was video. tweeting about him? <laughs> yeah, okay. I, it no. was... Everybody after was, this. After when this? Noah, yeah. No, I didn't see after this what happened. When Noah posted it, I just liked it. And I was like, yes, love Doja, love uh, Noah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think people were like, oh, so cute they're talking. So embarrassing. Yeah, I right. think she was embarrassed for sure. Yeah. So then what happened next was she went on a live and she went off on Noah. <laughs> She called him like a snake and shit. I was like, whoa, damn, chill. So I haven't seen that. I, I saw people talk about it. Yeah, here it is. This this is when it really heated up and your, people started talking mom. about it. Wait, what? She's super nice at first and then she just she like lets go a little bit. Your your mom. Um you got I think you guys have the wrong link in here. This right here is the um not the right link. So <laughs> they talked before she made this live, which is interesting, too. Her and Noah? Yeah. Hmm. Is, she... is it the right URL now? Mm -hmm. yeah. you're, you're... It's in Discord. Thank you. <laughs> oh, that new thumbnail is good, Cam. All right, so here's Doja on the Noah Schnapples. You like Schnapple? Is that the name of that drink? Schnapple. Oh, Schnapple. <laughs> Noah Schnapples. <laughs> All right, here we go. She's about to schnap on him. 
I hope hopefully you're recording this so that I don't have to do it. I tried to make a TikTok like a three minute She's this is a message to the world. Everyone record this. Minute TikTok and it didn't work. Um I had to like do it like three times without cringing and that was impossible. So uh I'm just gonna say something right now about the whole fucking uh the Noah Schnapp thing. I think that to be fair, first let's be let's be try to be chill about it. To be fair, this is like a, a kid. Like Noah is like, I don't know how old he is, but there, he's not even over like there's no way he's over like Wait, why 21. don't you know how old he is? You, you just look it up. He's 17. Not hard. He might be. Like I could be wrong. He's um not but like, when you're that young, you make mistakes. You do dumb shit. I'm like trying to be huh? super fair. She has donations on. You do dumb shit. You say dumb shit. You fucking fuck up relationships with people. You, you make mistakes. Like you're supposed to, so that you know. Dude, you're TikTok, supposed to do stuff like that. TikTok is so awesome for that. <laughs> That's one of my favorite things when people do serious stuff. Oh, I hate to bring it up, but like the, my favorite one, obviously, is the tomato incident. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm talking about. I mean, that is just, dude, you got to love TikTok for that. I should do that. I should do some serious ass thing. And then, <laughs> and then uh, wait, I thought this was, oh, okay, this is TikTok live? Yeah. That so that you know not to do it in the future. Like, I, I did my share of fuck ups so that I don't fuck up again. Um, but the fact that, I love that. <laughs> this person that Noah did that, like, went and posted a private conversation between me and him. Also, it wasn't, like, a super intimate, like, confide. It was, like, three yeah. messages, and he was kind of over it from the beginning. I think that I get her frustration. Like, I always, always hate when people do that to anybody. If something was sent in private and then you post it publicly, it's just sucks because you didn't plan for that but with that being said she was tweeting about him already and it was, it was becoming a meme so maybe noah kind of thought the whole thing is a meme that's why he posted it yeah yeah because it so, would turn into this whole thing but you know i listen she's way more famous than me when i have any conversation like that i assume it's public at this point because yeah. it happened to us already yeah but a lot of times every time I'll never forget the first times that it happened to us. Yep. The feeling of betrayal is like next level. You know? Because you're uh, like, dude, you know I what? just texted you this. I'm pretty Why paranoid to the point. Post anytime it? I put anything in writing, I assume mm -hmm. there's a possibility yeah. it can become no. public. Less that's how one. we do. That's like how we live now. But we didn't before it happened to us. Doja's getting those hard lessons, boy. <laughs> Yeah, but do they hook up? That's the question. <laughs> that is the question. <laughs> is so unbelievably like socially unaware and whack. I totally disagree. I think it, seeing the screenshot, there was so little dialogue between them. I don't think it was like socially unaware or even no. whack or anything. I think it was totally and then, understandable. Like I was saying, she's already made it such a meme that yeah. you can understand what where he was coming from. It's not like they were talking about something super secretive and yeah, but yeah. the but the truth Private. is coming out is that it's not a meme for her. She really wants to fuck this guy. Yeah. She really wants this man. She's living for him. She's giving it all up for this man. Before I saw the live, because we just found out about this right before the show, Olivia was telling me. Um, I thought it was just Doja memeing because she always gets involved in like trending stuff until I saw this live. The live is where it's like, okay, yeah. she was memeing. She wanted to be going in on him like no. this. Yeah. People are saying she's the socially un un unaware. Unaware. That's <laughs> yeah. Actually, that might be true, you know. And especially with the age difference when you are talking about someone who's 10 years younger than you. Mm -hmm. Oh. 12 years younger. Well, I thought we said she's, she's 29. She's no. 26. She's 26. Oh, oh, my bad. My bad. <laughs> that is so true. <laughs> James Charles knows <laughs> something about that. And like, 
You know what I mean? Like, that's like borderline snake shit. Dude, that, you can't stop it. You it's, can't say that. That's so fucked yeah. up to put that out there against dear, sweet Noah Schnappolino. And right after this, she calls him a weasel. <laughs> oh, let's hear it. Like, that's like, that's like weasel shit. No, Doji, he's not your friend. He's just some kid. Weasley yeah. little liar, dude. Dude, chill, girl. What a fucking you have Weasley to. little liar, dude. She went too liar, far. Dude. Wait, people are saying Ace Fest canceled? That can't be true. I'm, 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 Yo, I'm looking. Did they I'm cancel? looking. I don't know. I'm, I'm on Austin's. It's clickbait. <laughs> are you sure? I'm watching it right yeah, now. But, uh... <laughs> oh, it's just clickbait. I mean, they literally have links to the tickets in the description of the video. Uh, Wait, it was an Ace Family video called Ace Fest Cancel? No, it's called It's Canceled. Can't believe it. Oh, what fucking bitch. And they're starting to sell tickets like the day before. Let's go. <laughs> what a fucking I thought it was liar, sold out. Dude. You know what? Ace Fest is going to turn into a fan, a fan meetup for us. And we're just <laughs> going to go there to meet you guys. Would that be awesome? I That's know. what's gonna happen, bro. We're gonna we're pushing mad tickets for Ace Fest. No, for real, guys, don't do that. One, it's gonna be like 110 degrees in Lancaster, so your life is in peril if you go to Ace Fest. Not even kidding. Two, the guys, I don't want to pay Ace Fest, okay? So please don't pay them. And three, we need to see the real situation there, okay? I don't want more people there. Than there should be because they want to come meet the guys. Don't do it. There's a chance you'll die, bro, if you go to Lancaster tomorrow. 110 degrees in Lancaster. Wow. Is it really that hot tomorrow, Dan? The forecast? Earlier in the week, I looked and it was supposed to be over 100. Let me see. Tomorrow. That's hot. Saturday. <laughs> that is hot. 100 degrees. <laughs> dude, dude, you do not want to be there. I guarantee you. Oh, oh that's hot. <laughs> That's the best application for that soundbite, Zach. Just literally, <laughs> that's quite hot. literal. Yeah, yeah. That's actually that's quite true. <laughs> anyway, Doja. Quite beautiful. And like, like, I'm not saying that encapsulates his entire personality. Like Noah is not like the definition. Of, like, like I, I wouldn't imagine he is. Maybe he is. Like, maybe he is an like a whole snake. Shut the fuck up, girl. You are completely it's so out of line. unwarranted. It's totally. Because you line. know that her fans <laughs> yeah, are going to give him a lot of him. shit after this. They're Did that happen? Him. Did he get shit? I bet. This? I mean, I'm I'll sure. Go, uh, but like, those are embarrassing things for someone to say about you to so many people. <laughs> Like to be called socially unaware. Right. A that's snake, mean. a weasel. A weasel. Yeah. That should actually. That's very painful stuff, and that stuff will follow him. Especially if he's a fan of hers, and he's he's like a young "I'm on the internet" poppin'. I feel like he must be. Yeah, that stuff's gonna follow him, man. By the way, thank you. It's just a prank. Oh wait, no. H three title cast, fifty gifted subs. Appreciate you. God bless. Yep. God bless. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It's a prank, bro. <laughs> Doja. Hmm. You know, um, but like, that's what I didn't see him that way. I made an assumption that he was going to be like chill about not, it. And he I'm went and like shared information that I didn't feel comfortable with him sharing. And and then I understand the other people who are going to like roll their eyes and be like, oh, bitch, please. Like, you just tweeted that he's fine, right. which is like, OK, but like the intention behind it it's like i'm i'm gonna tweet some shit that's gonna get a reaction because it's a meme and it's dumb and like you know. but that wasn't it he exposed you that you trying to get fucked which is fine but would it just be better if she's like ah he got me dude i'm so thirsty for him yeah He's that a would snake be ass better fucking rat there's snake emojis somebody kill phone. him there are just snakes in his comments. That's fucked up, dude. I know. He's just a kid, man. He didn't even do anything wrong. Yeah. That shit's painful. That shit hurt. Yeah. Dude. Taylor Swift wrote a whole damn album because she got so many snake emojis. Mm -hmm. Queen. Just saying. Pop culture reference here. You with me on that? <laughs> Reputation. <laughs> Thanks, bro. Yeah, I don't know. It's kind of weird. I don't like it. I like Doja though. Still. Yeah. You know. It was weird. Pretty cringy. 
<laughs> you know what I mean? Like, yes, he's attractive and I'm attracted to him, but I, I hate the idea of like, there's just something very weird. It's like a very degrading and, and um, it's just exploitative. It's like exploitative behavior. This is not, she need to talk. You need to be sharing this with your therapist, not your Insta, your TikTok live. This is a lot to put out there. And, and it's embarrassing. It is embarrassing, that, but you did it. It's like super embarrassing. Um, Yo, has this guy, Noah, she, or what's his name? The guy she's in love with, uh, Joseph. has yes. he said anything about this? Like, no. imagine what he thinks about all this. Uh. Yeah. No, he hasn't said anything about it. This reminds me of high school. It's embarrassing, like all this drama. Middle this... school. Middle, yeah, middle school. You like, pass a girl a note, and then sending, everyone finds yeah. out, and you're like, oh, my God. <laughs> middle school, people would send screenshots of, like, emails mm -hmm, or whatever, mm -hmm. IMs. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Wow. Why is she so desperate? She's a doja cat. Doesn't look good. It is humanizing, though. We're all desperate losers, honestly, at the end of the day. Mm. We're just desperate, like uh, poor James Charles, mm. you know? Yeah, oh, God. I'm <laughs> desperate. I'm just, honestly, I have to admit something really embarrassing. I'm, I'm just desperate. desperate. There it is. <laughs> uh, that's kind of all I have to say. You said I'm a lot. I'm not really embarrassed. Like, I, it's not the end of the fucking world. Like, I flirt with people on the internet. Um, I flirt with like everybody on the internet. It's like totally okay, but it's the intention behind like when you go out, when you like, when you make the choice to message somebody, hey, like blah 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 blah, but this is private. Like I didn't tell him that. Yeah. I didn't tell him not to post it because you don't expect people to do that because it's not normal to do that. No, you will. It's like it's literally not cool. Now you won't <laughs> do message people asking, but like. <sighs> I must say that I've had some post-coital regrets about that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and it's not normal. Um, yeah, Noah Schnapp. Yeah, that was way too much. But there you have it, huh? Yeah. Doja Cat taking it too far, but we still love her. We still stand her. But she she did Noah Schnapp's dirty on that one, man. He's going to get a lot of grief for that for a long time. Undeserved. Sister Schnapped. There you have it. Hmm? Fascinating. Absolutely riveting stuff. <laughs> How long have we been going? Because I, 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 I just want to do two hours today because Theodore, I'm sad to say, very sad to say, Theodore caught it. He got sick, man. Poor guy. And got it this morning. He's running a fever and I'm worried about him well we've been going for an hour and 48 minutes <coughs> um so what else we got i want to do two hours we got r kelly g lane tobiscus with kyle rittenhouse that shit's so funny i mean if we only have time for like one more thing which it sounds like we do i would suggest keep star uh, shut up uh yeah okay sure I, mm, what were you gonna say pretty funny uh, well i was just scanning through the the script Star, right now, shut up. Trying to shut up. Shut up, bitch. That might be a good one. <laughs> yeah, fuck it. The Akeem video is funny. <laughs> you know I got it. I can't miss the chance. It's so good, but I feel like it's going to turn <laughs> into something longer. Well, let's see. So here's Keemstar. So what happened here? Keemstar went on a podcast, and I Pull don't it. I didn't even know this how that's possible. How people still have this man on, on their podcast is... Because you get gold like this. Are you kidding <laughs> me? We should yeah, have him on. For us. They do it for us. <laughs> <laughs> I guess it is. Yeah, the, we're probably the greatest beneficiary. Of this. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He's given us so <laughs> much content. All right, so here he is with the whole uh, interface of people. Oh, the whole mole story. Yeah. So Bobby Lee. Well, do you have the clip of Bobby Lee talking yeah, it's about at the it? Very yes. top of the dock. <laughs> All right. So Bobby Lee went on and he talked about the most ADD episode. Wait, why are we had. back on Bobby? Yeah, Lee? I, I forgot to finish oh, the I mean, story and people wanted to know about it. <laughs> <laughs> so Bobby Lee, here, let's watch what he says. Go ahead. I know he's 
By the way, we're going on Tiger Belly next week. <coughs> <Are you coughs> next week or the week after? Really? No, it's next week. Next yeah, so week. we'll so we'll we'll have the uh, opportunity to talk it out. That'll be fun. Yeah. But um, here, listen to this. Eat it. Go ahead. I know who cares about you. Turn up a little a bit. A lot, a lot. Who? The opposite of Bert. Who? Maybe a little too much. Who? Ethan Klein. Why too yeah. much? He went. He. Okay. No. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I love how you say okay. yes to something. Okay, you realize what's happening. He's fuck, trying to fuck, say- fuck, fuck, fuck. Why did you bring that up? Fuck Ethan Klein. Because I just saw the band on I your know. neck. Right. So fuck Ethan Klein. What? No, he was trying to save your life. He, no, he wasn't. It was a trickery. It was tricky Story. beyond tri- trickery. All right. And he's done a lot of fucking bad things, right? But, and this last thing you were is serious. unforgivable. I was worried about him. Like you hear about stories where like people had like a bump on their neck mm-hmm. or a mole. You say something. If you see something, you say something. And it was on his neck, like right here, where he he probably doesn't regularly see it. Uh-huh. And I've seen Bobby a lot of times. And when it when I saw it, it jumped out to me. I said, I think it looks. I don't remember it looking like that. And I said, Bro, you know, I'm I'm wor- Just pl- get it checked out. Okay. Football. Uh, <laughs> what is it? All right. So check this out. I mean, I have my phone anyway. Um. So you know, Oliver. <laughs> what's what's that freak? Trees. trees, the tree, olive trees, right? They boxed. I went to go see it. Yeah, I did some video, some podcasting or whatever. While I was at the um, E3, uh, H3. Hey, Bobby, can you get more shots in at once, please? Of this, there, you know. Uh, maybe you could get one in the middle here, and uh, maybe in the corners as well. Thanks. Whatever. E3 Live is the thing you like. I, I love it. It's drink. It, it, anyone likes blue algae, you know what I mean? Frozen blue algae. E3 Live is the best. Okay? Look it up. E3 it's Live. It's pretty oh. delicious. He's reminding me of me now. Like, just a weird tangent that makes no sense. <laughs> we are a lot. Like, people say that. I it's like very it. delicious. It's like wheatgrass, but tastes better. No way. Way better. Yeah, yeah. It tastes like the I have ocean. no idea what it tastes like <laughs> All right. So, anyway... E3 Live H3 podcast is a fat Jewish fuck named Ethan Klein. Mm-hmm. Why That's you have to true. cut that out too? He's right? losing weight. He no, was he inspired doesn't. by you. That's what Hila said. No, he's got fuck. Did you say that? I don't remember saying that. Okay, interesting. <laughs> I am trying to lose weight though. That's true. Oh, maybe I think right after our podcast together, you were on the treadmill and I sent her a picture. Oh, that's right. That's what it that's is. That's right. That's right. That's right. Yeah. Too much care. Thank you, 50 gifted subs. What a legend. <laughs> I, I care too much. I care too much. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking evil titty milk. milk. Okay. Evil? Yeah, it's evil titty milk inside those tits. Anyway, I was at the H3 podcast, and he looks at the mole on my neck, and he goes, man, that doesn't look good. I go, what? He goes, that mole, dude, it's cancerous. Jeez. No, 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 no. That's not what I said. <laughs> I said it looks like you might want to get that checked out. Mm. And I even showed it once again to AB, who has mm. a medical background. Yes, very qualified. And Lena's, obviously, brother is a very accomplished doctor, yep. so it runs in your family. Yeah, I worked at a medical know. office for a long time. Yeah. And, bro, I have the text you sent me because I sent, I screenshotted it and sent it to him. <laughs> he said, Bert, He said, quote, I didn't want to freak Bobby out, but that shit looks cancerous. And I so, screenshotted it and sent it to Bobby. Oh, God. So when me and Lena, I was watching this clip yesterday, me and Lena, and I was telling her, I really hope the screenshot <laughs> from a doctor that Bobby's referring to is not what I texted Ethan after this show, because I have a strong feeling. It was, but he's being he's being hyperbolic. Yeah. I didn't say I my Why doctor. Why did you send him that? Because I wanted him to go check, go to the doctor. I didn't it want him to ignore kind me. Of like, Alarming. <laughs> well, I, 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 I thought. I, I'm glad you respect my opinion. Yes, I. No, I, 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 I was, I was genuinely worried. I said, "Don't blow me off. Go see the fucking, go see a dermatologist." I think that's okay, but note for the future, yeah. maybe I wouldn't have shared what what A B. He said. wasn't gonna listen to me otherwise. Okay, he's an adult. I just want to give him the full context. <laughs> I'm glad he. By the way, he got the mole removed. But it wasn't cancer. Well, I don't know. Maybe they didn't get a biopsy yet. Pending the biopsy. 
<laughs> Listen, it it was I'm joking around, but it was discolored around it. That's what Dude, it, it, it had a ring up. around it that was a different color. And also it was like misshaped. <laughs> it was shape was super weird. Shaped. It was big. Yes. Dude, it was fucked up. If I had some shit like that on my neck and someone's like, yo, that looked kind of fucked up. But I just <laughs> I would okay. want to know. I just think that there's a little note you could take from this mm -hmm. situation. Yeah. I feel like it would be a little bit like too <coughs> much. Like, okay, chill. I will go to the doctor and I will check, but I don't need to hear you me, necessarily. I'll show you exactly the conversation we had. <laughs> I I just I really wanted to make sure he went to the doctor because I really was worried about him. I was editing behind the scenes. Here, by the way, he sent me a picture of him <laughs> in the doctor office. He goes, hey, fuck face, the mall is nothing, you fuck face. <laughs> I said, what'd they say? I said, did it look weird or anything? He said, nope, waste of time, brother. I'll get you back one day. Oh my God. I said, I thought I was saving your life. He said, no, man, it's a Jew trick. I'm Korean, revenge. <laughs> I said, I have COVID, go easy on me. He said, losers get COVID twice. <laughs> Well, you only had but we had other chit chat. He's but, joking, by the way. He's not actually mad at me. But let me show you the thing I said about AB yeah. so you can gauge. Um, okay, here it is. <laughs> so I said, I said, quote. I said, it's so nice seeing you. Love. I said, see a dermatologist because I want you to live forever. Okay. I okay, said, that and that was good. That's and then fine. I said, because I I knew he was just going to ignore me. So I said. AB told me he didn't want to scare you, but he thinks it looks cancerous. That was unnecessary. He said, are you fucking serious? And then I sent the screenshot of AB saying, "Oh boy." by the way, Ethan, I didn't want to scare Bobby, but that 100% looks cancerous. That's what AB said verbatim. But did you hear I didn't want to scare Bobby? He chose not well, to say I it do, to him. I do want to scare him because I want his ass to go get it to the but doctor. It's I too much. Dying. I thought he was dying. I think it's very brave of you, Ethan. <laughs> because like you know you don't want friends that tell you that don't tell you when you have a booger like sticking out of your nose you want the friend that tells you hey yo get that shit off your nose i you know I, mean? I was genuinely concerned for him i wanted him to see a doctor but okay that's it i just want to let him know that there was a consensus here yeah i only failed orgo <laughs> chem like two times <laughs> <laughs> but just imagine if it was a meeting a of the mind. Okay, just imagine if it was cancerous. Right. Then everyone be like, I'm a fucking hero forever. I saved Bobby Lee's life. Yeah. He owes me his life. Right. Okay, now he's mad because I, I inconvenienced him a little bit. Overall, I <coughs> all I see here is like a tiny note for you. Give me notes. Of okay. improvement. Yeah, yeah, so so what should I have done different? I'm not a doctor. I wouldn't I'm a fucking fucking moron. Send him like what A V said. That's that's Maybe too far, but but, but you were doing there. a good it thing. It got him there. Yes. So and there's a chance I was. It's a right. good friend thing. <laughs> there was a chance I was. People are giving me snake emojis now. Thanks, guys. <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> giving me the snap treatment. Well, anyway, so. In your defense. Yeah. You had a third opinion. Somebody's saying I'm wrong. You right asked away. Lena as well. Oh, I did. And what did Lena say? Lena said the same thing. And again, Lena is she's pre. She <laughs> she's also related to a doctor. Oh, yeah. When no, but We're she both went to pre medical. Doctors. She has doctors in her family. I got before I went all out and was like, Bobby, Bobby, you got to go see a doctor. I asked two other people with some degree of medical background, and there was a consensus that it looked like something you should get checked out. Yeah. Listen, normal people spend four years pre med. <laughs> I was in pre med for eight years. Okay, so. People are disagreeing with me, so <laughs> there you go. Mm. People are disagreeing with you? Yeah. Saying that Ethan was right to send the screenshot? I guess. Better be safe than sorry. I there be instances of people who could have escaped cancer if they would have just went sooner. To that's the thing. Out. That's the thing. Yeah. Skin cancer is the easiest fucking cancer to fix. They literally just scrape it off you. And to die from skin cancer is the saddest thing mm -hmm. you could die of. It's so fucked up. Because it's so easy to get rid of, bro. All he my motherfucker had to do is go down to the dermatologist, which he did. And he's going to complain about it, even though I tried to save his life. Here he goes. And I go, really? <coughs> because, you know, I live with a nurse, you know, I mean, a trained nurse, Kalila. Well, I had looked at the mole before because it, it is a big mole, but I had done my ABCDEs. Which is, you know, the criteria for whether or not I think like a mole is like abnormal. And to and me, we did it our ABs. Normal, but Thank then you. 
Yeah. You only did AB. That was the <laughs> yeah. problem. We only did AB. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Missed the other letters. No. I was afraid to be wrong because I'm not a doctor. Okay. It, anyway, I come home from that um, experience and I let it go. You see, he said he let it go. He says, I wasn't going to see a dermatologist. Now, of course, it's easy in hindsight to say Ethan was wrong. <laughs> right. Mm -hmm. Right. But maybe I wasn't. He <laughs> proceeds to text me. Here's a He goes, dude, I have a friend who's a doctor. That's not what I said. I read it verbatim. I just said A, B. Mm -hmm. He knows who you are. There's a little bit of an implication there. I said, I, I said A, B. I, I, what the fuck? What's the inclination? A, doctor. I said, I said, A, B told me he didn't want to scare you. I didn't say shit about a doctor. And look at what he texted me. So he screenshot a text from a doctor <laughs> and his doctor friend. I don't know who it is. He goes, his medical friend goes, dude, Bobby's <laughs> neck mole is cancer. Mm, okay. Not quite. Dumb motherfucker, okay, A, B. That's how he perceived that's, it. That's, that's doctor, dumb motherfucker, A, B. <laughs> right. And then he keeps calling me, dude, you got to get, you're going to die, dude. You're so going to get scared. I killed. freak out and I'm like, oh what? my God, I've been wrong all these years. So then I make the appointment for him to Thank see you, my Kalala. dermatologist. Thank you, I go all the way back. It took me three hours to get there because I could go from Encino to there. Okay, right? first of all, <laughs> Encino to Beverly Hills is not three hours, okay? <laughs> even in the create, even in an apocalyptic <laughs> traffic situation, right? There's no fucking way. It's not even that far. It's, you know, 405 shot right down to Beverly Hills. Yeah. Stop it, Bobby. <laughs> Stop it. They do have right. hospitals in Encino as well, I'll point out. Yeah, what do you have to go to some posh-ass fucking <laughs> plastic surgeon Beverly in, in Hill. Beverly Hills? Bobby, what's up? All right, it takes me three hours to get there, right? And I waited, right? And I go into the office. You know, you know, driving from this area, anyone that doesn't know L.A., you know what I mean, to Beverly Hill on a trafficy day, in a the hot worst. summer day, Terrible. is a nightmare. Terrible. It's not yeah. three hours. Right? So and it took, but why? Why would you gonna have to go to Beverly Hills? There's plenty of doctors in Encino. Bobby, there's a whole ass fucking Kaiser Center there. <coughs> oh, we're gonna have words on next week on Tiger Valley, I'm sure. <laughs> Park and do the whole fucking thing, right? So I go, I wait in the lobby. You know what I mean? I sit, I go into the, the doctor's office. I love him, by the way, your doctor. Mm -hmm. And I sit there and he goes, what do you, what, what do you do here for? I go, I have cancer on my neck. <laughs> <laughs> I, well, I've been waiting. You know what I mean? He looks at it and he goes, no, nah, that's not cancer. That's a mole. <laughs> I go, no, because my Ethan Klein and a doctor and this, you know. I, <laughs> your <laughs> Ethan Klein. Yeah, yeah. I, I explained it. He goes, he, they're make, joking. Oh. I, I, I they, they just stop. The doctor didn't tell you I was making a a prank on you. No way. Prank, bro. You got to do Yeah, yeah. I, I explained it. He goes, he, they're make, joking. Oh. Oh, stop it. If it was such a joke, then why'd you remove it? Oh, no. I go, you know what, dude? Remove it anyway. Send it to the labs. And I'll get my revenge to that fucking Jew fuck. Did it hurt? <laughs> yeah. Because it, it was a big mole. It hurt. He removed it. I still have it. a band-aid on my neck. Oh, I, yeah, I, have I haven't taken enough. Let's see what the biopsy says. I think he wanted an excuse to remove it, and you gave it to him. So you're dying for his. There you go. He just wanted cosmetically to move it. <laughs> yeah, that thing was that thing was pretty gnarly, dude. So that you're welcome. And also, before you start saying I'm a liar, oh, I love what you guys did. Is this the Tiger <laughs> Valley? Yeah, this is the new setup. I love that. I like it. Hey, everybody. <laughs> yeah, I was doing a Brady Bunch thing earlier. We also need a camera on the roof. It's just like yeah. a wide overall <laughs> bar of everyone that okay. does nothing. Yeah. And how we mean though. Yeah, exactly. The leprechaun shot. <laughs> <laughs> this is awesome. How's everybody doing out there? <laughs> Can everyone give me a thumbs up? <laughs> Love that. And now everybody wave. Love that. And now everybody look to the left. Now look to the right. We now look up. And scream! Ah! Oh, man, look at that. You're almost a doctor yourself. <laughs> yeah. Now look to the left. Look to the right, put one foot up. Anyway, I'm gonna talk. I'm gonna have to confront him on this whole thing on uh, next week. Look forward to that. Yeah, they reached out actually just to kind of out of the blue and invited us on. So I have a feeling he wants to he wants to confront me. Revenge. Yeah. 
He said, I have evil titty milk. <laughs> <laughs> oh, here's the top comment. Bob, love Bobby. And the fact that he's a perpetual liar. Probably when something like, hey, you should get that checked out. Ethan and his doctor said I have cancer. Well, now you guys know everything the with all is, the receipts. The truth is a little bit more in the middle, I would say. Yeah. No, I was persistent. What I was. What a fucking liar, dude. <laughs> so there you go, guys. <clears throat> anyway, yeah, also Bobby and Kalila broke up. I don't really know much about it other than I'm just very sorry to hear it. They're both lovely people, and Bobby is someone that I, I care about. And I just want him to be happy, you know? I, whatever, whatever's the best for his um, Harvest Moon Island. What is that game? Harvest Moon. Oh, uh, Harvest Moon. What? Star, 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 Star Valley. Valley. Yeah, whatever. I listen. I just Harvest Moon was a Harvest is a similar, a similar game. game. Okay. That's not totally out of the blue. Yeah. <laughs> you just like make a listen, whole new. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> I just whatever is the best for his Stardew Valley farm. That's that's what I want. It's not easy. It sounds like it's something that's been a long time coming, and it's sad, but from what I have seen of them, it seems like they're both okay with the decision. They're still doing the show together, so maybe I was yeah. wrong. At first, I was like, hell no, there's no way that shit's going to work out, but we'll see, maybe. Maybe I'm wrong. Well, we're going to go talk to them next week, so I'll have lots of questions for them, too, and get to the bottom of this. Anyway, let's talk about Keemstar now. This is an eight-minute or six-minute clip. Ugh. It's I'm trust me. <laughs> it's all good. It's pretty okay. good. Reason why I came on the show. I changed my name to I call came me on Wait, do we have any uh, theater updates? Is he doing okay? He's still with a fever. I just want to make sure that we can hang for a minute. Okay. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Arson. The show to confront Papa Gut, and that's the only reason why I came out. <laughs> why? So I'm. Wait, my I'm name isn't Papa Gut, by the way. It's something different. If you want to read that out for me, I was waiting for the moment, and the moment <laughs> is here. When uh, we were on a little chat a couple months ago, I believe, you know, you kept bringing up that it was weird that I, 40 years old, have a 21 year old girlfriend. And you kept saying oh that this God. is weird. This is weird. Well, I think the weird. bigger thing and was I said that it was weird that you canceled Call Me Carson for a two year age gap. No, no, you're changing. That's it. a really interesting point he brings up. Call Me Carson's whole right. life got fucked right. over a two year age gap. He was like 19, she was 17. I don't know the exact numbers. I think that's what it was. I'm pretty sure that's that was right. It. I'll look it up. And then he's like, he's like, he went on a whole campaign against him, and he's like, bro, you're 40 dating a 20 year old. I think that's that's a very good point to bring up there. Yeah, you're changing the subject. You said it was weird. <laughs> you you were yeah. Judging I think it's a little weird. Sure. That I'm weird. Okay. Now, just the other day, this guy on TikTok, a little irrelevant guy over on TikTok was roasting your wife he was calling her fat he was calling her unattractive all this stuff you okay. were getting salty about it and you were defending your relationship right you were defending your wife what and, is happening and that you love her and you think she's beautiful and all that other yeah. stuff okay right are you weird are you weird for being and dating your wife what <laughs> This is honestly, I, God. Yeah, so the whole premise of his argument is hard to even wrap your head around because it makes so little sense. Yeah. And as a logical fallacy of an argument, it's not even a good one because it's just confusing. Yes. Pop, this guy, Papa Gut, he said, it's weird that you're 40 years old dating a 20 year old. And then Keemstar said, well, Someone called your wife fat and you defended her. So is that weird? So he's conflating <laughs> criticizing a relationship for any re or a person in a relationship, defending your significant other so weird. with dating someone way outside your age. I your think age um, possibly the bandana <laughs> is on too tight <laughs> and, and his circular. brain is starting to theory. eat itself. That's like there, there wasn't a lot in there already, you know, but. Mm. It's shrinking in. That's a really good point. His brain probably looks like a raisin at this point. Yeah. With all that beef jerky and fucking like unprocessed syrup. I mean, there's probably all kinds of gnarly shit in unprocessed syrup. Yeah. Um, do you have do you have that screenshot of his room? The really good close-up oh, of his room. You got it. <laughs> I also want to point out Keemstar 
who once again 40 years old um he his room looks like a 12 year old's bedroom <laughs> whose mom went on like a weekend getaway and he didn't <laughs> force him to clean his room for two days this man <laughs> this is a grown ass man with ATVs a uh, 10 year old fan right away <laughs> and his room is kind of embarrassing um drop it right now yeah it's pretty interesting if we can pull that up close <coughs> if someone it's in discord it says processing okay there you go it's where oh shit i sent the wrong one sorry hold on one sec yeah let me get a close-up here for you guys uh Waiting for Discord. It's, it's processing. processing. Yep. There you go. Okay. Now let's take let's just get let's just take a nice close look because we don't usually get a close up this far. Now now this is his bed. That's like a twin bed or something. <laughs> that looks like a twin bed, right? That's a that's a full. Oh, that's a full. Which is in between like a twin and a queen. A teenage science med. That's, I, think that's it could be, I mean, it's, I think it could be a queen. You think so? Yeah. It looks kind of narrow. It's possible that this is like a guest <laughs> room. I don't know. Well, why is it so dirty then? How's a guest yeah. room get so fucked up? Yeah. Now, yeah. is this water or alcohol on the mantle of his bed? That is water. Looks water. Like smart, smart water. Smart water, yeah. Yeah. Smart water. And then on his, what do we got here? Blankets or laundry or something? Also, there's an Xbox controller on the top <laughs> of the bed frame. Oh, yes. You know, for yeah. those long nights of gaming where you just got to. Put it up above your this head. This isn't a guest room. This, right. he's, he's, this is a room he's spending a lot of time in. Let's see what else we can take a look at here on the floor. We've got... Now, what is this? Do we have any idea what is this? A dead body? <laughs> Legs? It looks like a paddle for a boat. Why's he got a boat paddle you guys on see the that? floor? <laughs> 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 no, it could be. It's hard to tell, you know. It's like we're looking at the clouds and talking about what we see. <laughs> you wanna know how old this motherfucker is? This dude's got like a projector from like a classroom from 1980. He's got a hi-fi, dude. <laughs> Potentially a bong or something here. I don't know. The point is that if you're a 40 year old man and you're dating you're not going to get anyone serious with a room looking like this. He has Maybe two, a 20-year-old. He has two microphones, though. I want to point that out. <laughs> yeah, you were tickled by that. He's got the headphone here, and then this... <laughs> USB microphone. USB microphone. All professional YouTubers use those. How old is this guy again? Like 35, 40? <laughs> oh. <laughs> That's right, Luffy. Literally. Uh, so which mic do you think he's using? Why does that tickle you so much that he's got two mics? Well, I w I'm more like... I think Cam was impressed with the two mics. I like the like glow up USB mic. I think it looks cool. I'm not even gonna lie. No, it's sick. It's a great. Steel Which for one? Like 150 bucks. <laughs> this one. Yeah. It's like a Blue Yeti mic type. But there you have it. All right. Thank you for that update. We, you know, we, <laughs> we, we like to not miss a thing here. Let's continue. Are you weird? I, I don't. I, I, I don't. Show. I, By the way. It's some pot. It's like a. This is what it looks I, like. It's a I don't bunch want of to, people. I don't want to demean anyone or put any. Uh, this is one of these people's podcasts. I don't know who. It's a I don't. Show I don't think it's like a that. huge show. Yeah, probably. It's like kind of like a Zoom yeah call. casual Zoom podcast. Show. I don't know these, what it is, but in the bottom <coughs> right, um, the girl there was one of mine and Lena's first supporters. Uh, oh, for real? Yeah. Before we even mm. started, I've been seeing her more and more often. So. Oh, shout, shout out. out! Who is that? Uh, Stardust. Stardust. Oh, is she like your your like uh <laughs> protege? Your 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 my oh. princess. <laughs> your god uh, your goddaughter. I yeah. haven't kept up with her in a while, so uh. but yeah, I what think it's just that? a it's just a podcast. Everyone yeah, these in. format podcasts are pretty common on Twitch. Okay. Oh, it's a Twitch yeah. thing? I I mean not literally, but yeah, I see it a lot on Twitch. Okay. But there you go. Kimstar called in to confront this guy, Papa Gut. I, mean, I, wife, I, I truly don't. To your wife, are you weird? No, you're not weird. I don't understand. That's your relationship, that's your relationship and you get what to the pick what who you, you want a relationship what with. What are you talking about? Yeah, the logic of that is kind of even hard. To I love it. He, he, he says, he says. I love how confused he is. He's like, he says, I don't you understand. saying I'm weird for being a 40-year-old dating a 20-year-old is attacking my relationship. 
in the same way that someone insults your wife. It makes no sense. No, none. Well, Jets, how do these two I'm things? How, about, no, I just want to know how these two things are linked, right? Like, so, so keep. Because you didn't like. You didn't like when someone was judging you. You didn't like when someone was sitting there saying that your wife was unattractive, your wife was over. Well, okay. You didn't like that. What's that have to do? And you're like, in my eyes, she's beautiful, all right? <laughs> so in my, in my like, eyes, my this kid that I'm dating is beautiful. If you see a kid, I see a beautiful, consenting woman. Like, is this weird self-report? Where you see a... Where you see a... <laughs> she actually looks older in this photo than some of the other ones I've seen. Definitely father-daughter bonding time, though, vibes. Can I just say, there's a lot of people giving their opinion in the chat real quick about Stardust. I know nothing about her other than when we first, like, started. She was supportive of me and Lena. Other than that... Wait, is there something wrong with Stardust? I don't know. Some people are saying some pretty wild stuff in the chat. So What's wrong I'm with not Stardust? endorsing her. I'm just saying... Uh, is she a hater? I don't know. I don't know. I have not kept up whatsoever. Hmm. Listen, you might think my wife is fat and ugly, and you might say that my 15-year-old girlfriend is just a kid. Mm -hmm. I think she's a beautiful lady, and how dare you attack my relationship. Quote, Woody Allen. <laughs> Real quick, Sorry. Hey, sir. People, that I'm failing to see that. <laughs> how these things. still talking. Kim, Kim, sir, you're a millionaire and you only have one 20 year old girlfriend? Like, I find that. I have weird. two, but I have two, but one's hidden. Dude, so by the way, I don't know if that was, an, I think that was meant to be an ironic comment. Mm -hmm. And then Kim Start, so insecure, actually so I, pathetic, I, yeah. perceived it as a slight and said, no, I have another 20 year old girlfriend who doesn't want to be public. Yeah. So he's running an R. Kelly type. Uh, situation for young girls she's hidden in his basement that's what i'm saying uh, what the fuck bro? Oh, will it be you? <laughs> oh will it be one of you <laughs> mm. Damn, bro. I By love the way, that. R. Kelly sentence. 30 years, baby. Yeah. See you. Smell you later, dude. Yeah, he got... got dude, it. R. Kelly got the book thrown in his ass. 30 years in prison, he got found one count of racketeering. Eight counts of sex trafficking. Holy shit. 30 years in prison, bro. And also, he's being extradited to Illinois where he's getting... He's going to get tried for additional crimes. Oh, wow. So it's not even over for him. And also the guy from Cheer. <laughs> oh, yeah, that guy. He dude, also that guy, he got like 12 years, I think. The guy from Cheer who was talking to minors in DM got 12 years. He did the same thing as James Charles. Yeah. The yep. same thing. And he's going to jail for 12 years. Dude, yeah. would James Charles Justice win? Mm -hmm. Anyway, back to this. Yeah. Oh, you got to be 18. Ow! Age is just a number, baby. That was epic what just happened, by the way. How he completely... You want to watch that again? Yeah, yeah. I think we should. Hey, Kim, Kim, sir, beautiful. That's I'm real failing real to see you. Uh, how these things... Kim, Kim, sir, you're a millionaire and you only have one 20-year-old girlfriend? Like, I find that... I have weird. two, but... I have two, but one's hidden. Oh, okay. One doesn't right. want cool, the cool, public cool. Right. Fair enough. What do you mean hidden, bro? Do you want to expand on that? Hidden where? <laughs> do we need to know where? Is she in trouble? <laughs> in my basement. Yeah. Do they, if we need to tell, call the authorities. Puts the lotion in the basket. By the way, solution. he keeps saying uh, that Brantley's 21. I think that's just because they very publicly drink together all the time. It, she's definitely not 21. Oh, you think she's younger than 21? Yeah. Wait, based on what? Based on when she graduated high school. Oh, you think he's lying about her? I yeah, age? he's definitely lying about her age. Whoa. Probably, Whoa. I probably close to. Yeah. I mm. I did a deep dive on the Facebook, and a graduation post was posted in 2020. Okay, I think. What the fuck? That's said this was, motherfucking year. I think they said. What? No, it's not. Wait. <laughs> Whoa. Wait, wait, 2020. 2020. Sorry, sorry. 2020. <laughs> yeah. My bad. Back I it up. I think she just had a birthday recently, <laughs> and that's when they announced 
publicly that they're dating is when she turned 21. Uh, but mm. it is possible she was held back. I mean, I'm not saying anything about her. Oh, family. well, that's true. You shouldn't say something that absolute. You should say. Also, yeah. I suspect. You should. You that, suspect. I suspect yeah. that he may like be aging her up slightly right. to not appear to be giving alcohol to somebody yeah. underage. Right. I see. That's interesting. Maybe I mean, he was like last that. week, but now she's 21. So, right. so, so she graduated two years ago. How old are you typically when you graduate 18. high school? 18. Or seven, or younger, or right? right? Yeah. Yeah. So, so that was two years ago. So or, R. Kelly, does that check out? Or nineteen? <laughs> I know nineteen year old. <laughs> it checks out for R. Kelly. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's, it's possible she's twenty one, though. It is possible. It's definitely yeah. possible. But <laughs> does it seem that improbable that? Mm, it's possible, but every anything's possible. You know what I'm saying? Anything's possible with God. I mean, either way, they've been together for longer than a year. That would make her, you know, what I mean, true. So all well, things they are possible. They only started dating recently. All right? things are, are possible, possible right, with right, God. Right, right, right. <laughs> okay. Okay. So I don't think that these two things are uh, analogous, right? I said it was offhand. It said it was a little weird. I never said it was illegal or wrong. I think that's a little different from me engaging with somebody about like a particular topic. And then instead of them responding to what I said, they just decided to go off on my wife. You got mad. He, he went after your yeah, wife. He, okay. said, he said, he said, bro, your wife's ugly. Your wife's overweight, right? He said, sure. I, I love my wife. She's beautiful. I love just don't, her, I don't right? see how these situations are comparable. Oh my God. I don't, Does he have brain like, damage? I, that's I mean, just what I was thinking to myself. Brain damage. <laughs> like, no, but this, it's like so removed from reality. <laughs> it's like it's word salad. I mean, it's psychosis. He's detached from reality. Maybe. Yeah. I think he got a brain amoeba from raw syrup. For the first time since I've worked here, <laughs> I, I You're just supposed wrote... to pasteurize that shit. <laughs> right, yeah. I just wrote in the doc, I can't explain this. We just have to watch. Yeah. For the first time that's ever happened. <laughs> yeah, I think you're right. It's pretty <laughs> awesome. And I appreciate how flabbergasted Papa Gut is too. But yeah. I mean, what can you even say? don't really understand this it seems like you're waiting for something that in it? your head you don't get it made sense so you that you can have a meltdown on it it sounds like well, you were holding on to that comment for months and then like this you felt like this was the first time that you i just thought you were being hypocritical because you mm -hmm. should be able to date whoever you when did date, i well right? e either way when did i say you shouldn't be able to date 20 year old girls you said it was weird you said it was what who cares weird. if it's weird i think that furries are you weird got too mad. I think that you got mad when that guy in TikTok Star, said your up. wife is weird your wife had issues or no. your wife stupid. oh my he god stupid ass So someone said his wife is ugly, and then someone said a Keemstar, your wife is too young. Your girlfriend is too young for you. Odd. What that problem? I think you're. He didn't approve of your wife, and you got real defensive. I got. Uh, yeah, I got upset because if you want to judge started... other people's oh relationships, God. he should be able to judge your relationship. Keemstar. He should be able to get on TikTok and dunk on your wife he and did. say that you're a weirdo for dating your wife, right? If you're gonna do he that, he really thinks people, he's uh, doing something right now. It's just so odd. Someone says I think Keemstar has cocaine psychosis. I've seen it uh, like this before. I. <laughs> That's... Listen, I'm no doctor, but a lot of people regard me, you know, in the medical yeah, community. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Is that I, what you see here? Yeah, I, I got similar vibes. I mean, that would explain why he's so confident. In yeah, it was definitely, no I'm, I'm yeah. not saying cocaine, but I don't know, something. I have no medical background at all. <laughs> I I've can been teach around you. a lot of cokeheads. And yes, that definitely mm. is a, uh -huh. a possibility. Let's say it's a possibility. Yeah. Hmm. Well, but he, he, wasn't, he wasn't saying I was a weirdo. He was saying that I'm not a high value man because my wife is overweight. Sorry, Ethan. You may have missed the best part when he goes like this. Oh, he <laughs> dropped a bomb. Right. Oh, it's right here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I rest my case, Your Honor. My girlfriend's young while your girlfriend's ugly. I rest my case. <laughs> <laughs> you're the only one reveling in this you you sound fucking unhinged right now <laughs> <laughs> i'm sitting here letting you talk i don't know what else to say keemstar these two yeah, things are very i don't have a counterpoint i don't have a well, counterpoint no, like, it, it makes just, no sense there wasn't an initial point what do you mean yeah, you need a point to make a i dare you to counter that <laughs> yeah i'll be like yo 
bro. Fucking dogs are, I don't know. It's 5G, bro. 5G is causing COVID. You have no counter to that. <laughs> counter that. You can't. Oh, yeah. Watch this. Oh. Okay. Oof. Conversation over. An insane point that you brought up. All right, it's okay. Let well, me don't judge. Don't judge people's relationships. If when people judge your relationship, you're going to be a salty little bitch. Okay, that's my point. So, Keem, Ke the the issue here, right, is first of all, there's a difference between saying that it, you're it's weird to date younger women versus me attacking your girlfriend or whatever, right? That's the issue. So we had a no. disagreement on a different, completely. Di we had a disagreement over some high value male bullshit, and instead of responding to the criticism, he just insulted my wife. That's <laughs> not the same thing as me saying it's kind of weird. That you date, or that you date like younger girls, but I've hey, even, uh, but, 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 but I, I, especially considering like I've defended the fact that you're not a predator from like, uh, like Ethan Klein, for instance, who thinks that you're like a pedophile for it, which you're not. Uh, I just, Again, I, I don't know why. Apparently, Papa Gut hates me. You did not uh, say I, that. <clears throat> that exactly. I never said he's a p word or. Yeah. I'm just, I, mm. I mean, not serious. <laughs> I think you probably have. Not not Siri. I don't think he's actually a p word. Okay, got it. If I said something like jokingly or or yeah. you know, facetiously, no, you. I that was like, never a serious thing. I feel like you make an effort to be like, obviously she's twenty one, she's yeah. of age. Yeah. This is about, yeah. or she's <coughs> over eighteen. Or the insinuation not, that he's attracted the kids. I mean, I know he's not that. It's That's, not really different from what. He's saying it's just it's weird. It's a big gap, and we've yeah, that's, always we're said just making that. fun of it. Yeah, it, which you acknowledge here yourself. You say it's weird. We are agreeing that it's weird and making jokes out of it because Kim Star's a piece of shit. But I don't. I don't know if Pop, I don't know if I don't know what Papa Gut's opinion of me is. I talked to him a while ago. He said he was a fan, and we had like a nice conversation. We sent him some Teddy Fresh and stuff, and. I don't know. Apparently, he's. I I don't know. I don't, it's whatever. He can he can think whatever he wants of me. It's fine. Um, there's obviously plenty to criticize me for, so I'm not gonna say you can't do it. But that being said, I I, I think that's not a fair characterization of uh, my stance on younger Star. girls. But I've hey, even uh, but, but, but but <coughs> especially considering like I've defended the fact that you're not a predator from like. Uh, like Ethan Klein, for instance, who thinks that you're like a pedophile for it, which you're not. I just said it was weird. It was all. I think he's might be a predator. I don't think he's a p word though. You know what I mean? Offhanded. Why are you taking this so personally? Well, I just thought I thought you were hypocritical when you got yeah. all defensive well, over your wrong. relationship. I was like, wait. Well, people can people can call you weird for for dating your wife, right? I mean, you do it to other people. You judge other people's relationships. Um, I'm saying Papa Gut supports <laughs> Trisha Paytas. I don't know. I don't anything about it. He's welcome to have whatever opinion he wants. I, I'm not going to judge the guy. I just got to defend myself on that one point there. And you know what I mean? I'm not going to say anything bad about the guy. God bless him. Okay. Live your life. Be, 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 do your thing. No problem. I, I don't even know how to respond well, I, to this. Why can't people judge your relationships? Why well, you can so You can judge my relationship, but it's weird that like nobody insulted. Well, I didn't insult your girlfriend, but you're supporting people like insulting other people's wives. It's bizarre. I just uh, I don't, I don't support him. Don't don't put words in my mouth. I'm just saying. It well, you, you you're su you're supporting his action. No, I, I'm saying that he should have the right if you also he, everybody has you the, have right, the right. But like, you it's, right are you saying that there is no age gap? What's that? Are you saying that there's no such thing as an age gap that constitutes grooming? Is that your position? Is that well, your opening statement? Among adults? Among That's a good ass question. That was a slight question. And then he goes, Among adults? <laughs> adults? No. It well, clearly not, because you're pushing the boundary as far as it goes, basically. Among okay. adults, no. Then, then no. what age gap would you say? What the fuck's happening? I would say let it happen. Let it let this line of questioning go. This is good. Dolph I'm just trying to get us back on the conversation statement. that we uh, we're talking. <laughs> this is his well, opening I, statement. I'm trying to get us back on the conversation because this is like going on. If an time. adult, if a if an adult no is going after guys. someone under the age of eighteen, Bro, I'm I so that he's grooming, right? So, Anybody so under the age of eighteen? Eighteen okay, is that grooming? 
Uh, I would say, yeah, I guess, yeah. What about a 16-year-old and an 18-year-old that are in high school together? No. What about a 17-year-old and a 19-year-old? See, that's a good point. That was the call me Carson thing. Mm -hmm. Right. No, no. <laughs> oh, okay. No, that's, okay, that's so if I can bring someone... He's saying no. Five. But he's saying no, yeah. He's yeah. saying no here. Yeah, of course, of course. <laughs> Track are all good. That's why they're laughing. <clears throat> so, I thought that was pretty interesting, didn't you guys? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Someone said we missed his opening statement. There's more? Well, anyway. I wouldn't even know how to find this, to be honest. I'm, well, but, but, um, there's, there's, uh, there's more. Yeah, but Kim starts wrapping himself in some kind of crazy ass pretzel to defend this relationship. It's weird, bro. And like, you can't even get mad at people for saying that. It's weird, dude. You know? Okay, bitch. <laughs> Elon Musk says he is terminating his Twitter deal. Yo, oh, who could have ever seen that? Shocking! Thing? I can't believe it. Breaking news! What? Oh no! Breaking oh, news! No. I love that his his reason is because we couldn't verify how many fake accounts are exist. Who gives a fuck? You're buying Twitter. Twitter's Twitter. What is Jordan Peterson <laughs> gonna do now? I know. Oh, he's fucked. That's right. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> Fuck you. That's awesome. Actually, they should ban Elon now. <laughs> yeah, that would be fucking hilarious. Fucking Elon, such a fraud, y'all. Y'all got, you got all got taken for a ride, man. Time to invest. He literally just liquidized like $12 billion of Tesla stock, pocketed it, pretended to buy Twitter with it, so he people didn't panic sell Tesla, you mm. know? And that's it. Y'all got taken for the ride of a lifetime, dude. Time to <laughs> invest. It's awesome. It's awesome. I'm so glad about that though. More conservative tears to <laughs> lubricate my soul. <laughs> what tweet did I violate, you fucking sons of bitches? <laughs> <laughs> it was getting what funny time? how they just like start tagging Elon. Mm -hmm. Help! Help! <laughs> Jordan like, Peterson, help Elon! Elon you guys help. know they didn't even sign a deal <laughs> yeah. yet. What? <laughs> what Elon, <laughs> sons of bitches. Uh, Elon, help Jordan. He doesn't want to erase this tweet. <laughs> Delete the hateful tweet in question. You sons of bitches. Oh man, there's been so many great Jordan Peterson edits from that, like of Half Life, the, <laughs> the G Man shit. So funny. <laughs> So don't pull any moral stunts on me because you're irritated about my opinion. We'll see who cancels who. You have that one, Zach? Sexual desire of any sort. Up we'll yours, see moral. Who cancels who? Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> Wait, is there no audio? Hold on. <laughs> Half Life fans, eat your heart out. The Twitter rules. <laughs> Up yours, <laughs> wolf moralists. <laughs> We'll see who cancels who. Dude, and then there's other. There, please, more. There were so many I yesterday. It was dying. <laughs> this video he put out is going to just, oh my God. It's yeah. just infinite meme ability. Wow. Exactly. I can't I can't believe it. And it's like so you were saying on the show that I think somebody in the chat said, like, how is this the same person that we had on the show? It's not. And I was like, oh my God, seriously, how? What happened? I did not fuck my dog. I, well, what he sounds was, really stupid in that video. Right, the last one. Right, he's not sharp. His points are and he, dumb, and it's like really try hard. He's, he's trying to sound so sophisticated and like use big words, and it, it just comes Up off like yours. stupid. Is that a, is that a uh, profession? Your professional opinion? <laughs> Up yours. Up yours. Up yours. Woke moralists. I mean, I think he did get some brain damage from heavy benzo addiction. That is one of the worst drugs mm. for your mental health it literally puts really? holes in your brain yes i mean if you abuse it heavily it fucking scrambles your brain oh my yes God. benzos are very dangerous and he was doing a lot very a lot oh yeah here's a good one incoming enemy from the rear drop attitude <laughs> We'll yes. 
I saw another one where they said this video feels like when you get called up by the enemy and like uh, command and conquer. Right. Oh, yes. Which is totally. so accurate. If you played that game. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> They're like taunting you. Up yours, woke moralists. <laughs> we'll see who cancels who. Take a benzo and clean your room, you muppet baby bitch. <laughs> up yours. So I think the benzo thing really fucked him up. And I think him just being criticized so much further entrenched him into this world of like the Daily Wire. And he's being he's being enabled by the worst people and, you know, uh, basically getting com- confirmed by the worst people. And mm-hmm. he's his sense of normal reality of like any baseline opinion that isn't like totally political or partisan is just so fucking out of whack precisely I mean, the the people they they associate with is insane i mean once again his daughter his daughter is friends with cobra tate okay just to tell you how fucking warped their world is <laughs> yeah I, I saw cobra kate will, or tate will do an interview with uh aiden ross later this week oh my Should god be some good content cool yeah clash of titans man <laughs> yeah I don't know what's up. Somehow, people like, people really like, um people really think Cobra's cute and stuff. He's he's it's crazy, you know. That he's a fucking human trafficker, bro. Like it's not cute. The man's a lunatic. Well, people like Richard Ramirez as well. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what is this link you sent, AB? Oh, people in the chat were telling uh, you about the intro. That okay. says intro. Oh, uh, okay, good. Um, it needs no My name is Keemstar. I was born on March 8th, oh 1982. God. It was a mild day, a little cloudy. Um, so he's, he's gonna do- I was left on the doorsteps of a Baskin <laughs> oh, Robbins. No. Let, me, let, me, say that. let me just preface by saying he's daddy, leaning on them, daddy. having long intros, but he kind of just drags it way too long. <laughs> Where's your daddy? Dude, he's he's gonna do, I'm going to meme him a little bit. I wanted to be a clown. Grew up wow. on a dairy farm. Wow. Didn't really like doing that shit. Got paid low. Oh, thank you to Go Up Yours, 50 Gifted Subs. We love up that. Up yours. <laughs> up yours, woke moralist. Is that true? Did Nathan said he... A... Oh, so sorry. Did he grow up on a dairy farm? I think yeah, that is did. true. Wow. Yeah. That's the story. <laughs> That's the story. <laughs> he talked about it on your guys' podcast. Yeah. Or on this yeah. Podcast. yeah. Oh, damn. Uh, Nathan said Jordan drank too much apple cider. Yeah, That's always a danger. Would do it again. Well, money. When I grew up, I knew that I wanted to entertain people and do business. Uh-huh. I love that. If you show the stuff he got into originally, like just, <laughs> I grew up knowing people. I wanted to entertain people. Alex is a stupid. Well, yeah. he actually, he actually addresses that. Okay. I'll yeah. watch. Business. Started off uh, right out of high school being a bill collector. I was really good at it. Figured out the whole business aspect. <laughs> Why is he introducing himself like that? Yeah. What is this? What is, what is this? Like, Ted talk? TA meeting? Yeah. yeah look, AB said he was trying to mock their <laughs> long intros or whatever. But, oh. But it was more like their not... intros of like their channels and stuff. He was kind of, if he would have did it for a second or two, okay, but. He's trying to be funny. Yeah. Okay. Let's see. Some Halo 3 was talking some shit, told this dude I was going to bend oh his grandmother God. over my knee, shave her ass hair, roll it up in a blunt, oh make him God. smoke it, and then I said a derogatory term. Somebody in that I, game recorded he me, doing? put it up on YouTube, <laughs> and the next day I went on Xbox Live, Bro, this and is my a whole inbox rise and was fall filled. Team Everybody saw yeah. me on YouTube. I didn't even know I was going on YouTube or how this even took place. They asked me to make videos. I made videos with them. Started the first trolling and gaming entertainment uh, content. Let's get a look at the people's the faces. Whole rise and fall. <laughs> this guy's in 2011. Blew up a Stardust Minecraft clone uh, on the Xbox 360. Became a self-made multi-millionaire. Uh, got a notes. little bored. Bought some Bitcoin at seven dollars and fifty cents. Was rolling in the, the dough. Didn't know that. what I was gonna do. There was a show on HBO. It was this called News Room. Raptured, Addicted though. to it. Absolutely. Well, you gotta, you gotta it so I would pretend online to be like a news anchor, but I used a hashtag. Came up with the hashtag Drumler, and then one day I decided <laughs> to make a video. That took off. Blew off. Wait, it, if he was doing a joke, there's no way. That's he, what I'm this saying. Is he just. Serious. He just went too far with it i mean i mean it's clear what he's doing at first but, but not anymore i don't know yeah he I don't doesn't know. he doesn't have the capability of reading a room uh-huh. which we've already learned right or reading 
or reading. Uh, that's and, fine. Might be true. Sure, and it so. was used in a book, huh? <laughs> that's funny. Love that. love that for him. Started Friday, Fortnite, Minecraft Monday. Star, shut up. Happy Punch, my new boxing brand. And now I'm here on this show. So things have been going downhill. Shut up, bitch! <laughs> All right, not so erudite. Uh, yeah, my name is Not So Erudite. Um, well, super cool. So funny how he introduces himself. Like, my name is Keemstar. Bro, your name is not Keemstar. So your name <laughs> is Daniel. You're a 40 year old man in your yeah, you're in the basement. Daniel, bro. Motherfucker. Holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so this is a bonus. Dan loves this one. I'm going to play this for Dan. <laughs> he was on another podcast where he offered his uh, foreign policy yeah. advice. On the Russia, Ukraine. you know, just like last time with banks when they were discussing uh, <laughs> the invasion, they were talking about Chernobyl and everything. Whenever Keemstar gets into international politics, it's <laughs> what he top tier, yeah, top tier. Um, he apparently is a Russia sim, which we love. For him. Interesting because he didn't know the name of Chernobyl, he called it uh, Shariba or something, Shariba? <laughs> whatever it's called. <laughs> The most like logical fucking economic podcast in the last 10 minutes holy <laughs> fucking hell i just realized this is like no bullshit it's like completely neutral people just giving the fucking like exact like j just giving like facts and logic here and do you want to know why do you not want to know why we're oh, failing should we form? analyze his room is this the same day i mean it looks exactly that was what the, the screen same. Was from. Was it oh, oh, oh yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Okay, okay that makes sense That's policy is because of our culture and cancel culture. Because if you think about okay, it, Okay, right, he spoke too soon. You, shh, shh, shh. If you think about it, why do we put all these restrictions on uh, Russia? Uh, on, Russia. Excuse me, Russia. Because yeah. they invaded uh, a sovereign nation, Ukraine, right? Mm -hmm. And this administration and our country all together decided, we're gonna cancel Russia. That's what we did. <laughs> That is exactly what we did. Say it's something different than that. You is he serious or is he doing a bit? Oh my god! Are we serious? As a bit, it's not that bad. As a serious, then it's like you know, the right lines now. are blurred. You know the answer. But it's possible he's just regurgitating some shit he heard like Glenn Beck say. Mm -hmm. This bit suffers. You can't because yeah, that's what it comes down to. It comes down to cancel culture. All these motherfuckers in America, I'm going to put a Ukraine fra a flag up in my yard. We support Ukraine. Fuck Russia, dude. Oh cancel culture is ruining the entire globe. That's what it is. Laugh all you want. Oh Call it something different. Like you can't. Jam. It was cancel culture. <laughs> Everybody's on Twitter <laughs> roasting Putin, like, ha ha, Putin, yeah, you little dick freak. All that shit, bro. Ratioing him. All Keemstar is, has a lot of sympathy for Putin. People call me, people go on Twitter and call me little dick freak. All that shit. Guess what? Yeah, now they're fucking, now, <laughs> now their currency is going through the fucking roof. Good luck. <laughs> I don't, I don't oh, there he goes. So, there you go. There was yours, Dan. Dan Thank special. You. Yeah. Honorable mention there. Any international, um, any international sanctions is cancel culture. There it is. Mm -hmm. Use the word uh, restrictions. Um, restrictions. For Russia. Restri <laughs> restrictions on Rishi. Uh, famous, actually, the biggest cancellation of all time actually was during World War II. Hitler, actually, mm -hmm. was mm -hmm. the first victim of cancel culture. You know, right. Hitler was a bad dude, but this cancel culture is out of control we yeah. should have seen it coming then yeah yeah mm -hmm. i'm basically hitler <laughs> <laughs> although one can argue that hitler was a big cancel culture guy uh, he canceled the jews he did oh, cancel right. the jews right so there's that so right. can you cancel culture a cancel culture yeah we hitler was the first sjw <laughs> keemstar hates the jews <laughs> yeah we, we need to ask keemstar for his expert opinion on that Okay. All right. Well, there you have it, guys. That's the show, pretty much, eh? <laughs> Thanks to everyone for watching. Thanks for all the gifted subs. You guys are great. Tiptoe stream update. I guess next weekend. Are we doing it next weekend? Because this weekend's Ace Fest. Right. Yeah. Uh, we could. Yeah. Also, for members behind the scenes, uh, we'll be delayed this week just because I want to get some more footage on Saturday. We weren't in the office that much this week, so... Be That'll a, be good. That'll so be a good one. Ace yeah. Fest BTS. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that'll be good. 
So let's try to do it next weekend, if possible. Okay. Yeah. Um, so there you have it, guys. Thanks for watching. Hope you have a great weekend. Um, <laughs> thanks to our sponsor, TeddyFresh.com. Gentle Thrills collab, which we're all wearing. Let's go. Let's go. And uh, we'll be here on Monday as usual. Having fun. Let's get, mm. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get re go. 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 Well, have a great weekend, guys. Uh, take care. Ta ta. See you on Monday. Stay good. Stay safe. Don't get COVID. Yeah, seriously. And you don't uh, want to get that. It's not worth it. Stay indoors, man. I'm telling you. Just, it's not worth yeah, it. Yeah, it's going oh. like crazy right now. The panel, everybody, give a peace sign. Peace sign. Peace. Now salute. What? Salute. Oh. Now ready? One, two, three, peace sign. Okay, one, two, three, salute. One, two, three, peace. I'm going to work on that. All right, guys. Peace and love. Peace and love. Have a good weekend. <laughs> Might drink some mayo while the incest on the sleep. Shredder will stop barking more fragrance acting sweet. We'll do the real raw ritual with more. And ET, share a laugh with the real Jim C. Y'all low, Jimmy Lee. They said we wouldn't come back, but you, we always do. Rise from the ashes like the Phoenix.